Ladies and gentlemen, the Adult Baby Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 166. I am B. I'm Chick. And boy, do we got a repeat offender on the show. <laughs> give it up for Mr. Christian Hahn, guys. G- give it up for me. Clap while you're listening. In <laughs> yeah. your welcome there back. They are. They're welcome going back. nuts. They're going nuts in their car. Did you forget and what show you were doing? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I have so many podcasts that I'm involved just, with. I always wait for you to see what you're going to fuck up, and today it just seemed like you forgot no, no, what I you just, were going to say. Listen, I don't... We don't have to talk about my process again, but I I, I, I like to see your eyes like pop out of your uh, skull when when I say something. I just can't wait for you to be like live from the sav the savage. Uh, what was the name of the podcast? bunch of savages? Bunch of savages podcast. Yeah. Bunch who's bunch of savages yeah, that was, podcast? That Is that was, beef? Him and Chris. No, yeah, me and me and Chris had a podcast years ago. At this point, it was a, a it couple was years ago, ago. Uh, and that's how that's that the. Bunch of Savages podcast right. birthed the Adult Babies podcast. Right. I life. like how it's named Bunch of Savages because yeah. I would never peg you to be a savage. <laughs> yeah, me and about Chris any, about are anything. Not savage. I was just going to say, you and Chris are like the nicest <laughs> guys know. ever. Yeah, it's we're a, not it's a very tame. You guys are the most tame people. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's we a are waste tame. of a good name of a show I because know. you guys weren't. Well, like we that. put some comedy shows on under that name. But uh, yeah, and we found Chick, and we, we this is where we are now. You now, found him. Yeah, we found him. You found him just laying underneath yeah. a, a pile of garbage. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> yeah. he was under an overpass. I see I talent mean, just, in you. There's yeah. talent in there. There's a glimmer in that. I was like I, that homeless guy with the golden voice. Yeah. Remember the guy who got found out and then yeah. they gave him like a... You're, you're like the opposite of a golden yeah. voice. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is like a rusty nail. But, you know. Well, we're continuing on. I Christian, I got to... Before we even get into all your stuff... We spent all day together yesterday, uh, day drinking. <laughs> day drinking for no reason. Yeah, oh, for, really? It was yeah. just for no. But it was fun. Yeah, was I don't fun. think we. Ever, I don't think we ever hung out that long before. No, it was a full day. We had, so there's a new uh, open mic. If you're a, a musician or a comedian and you want to go to this alibi in Farmingdale, there's a comedy slash music open mic happening now. <laughs> That's odd. Yeah, uh, but you know it. It, it blends. Uh, People with real talent and, and me and Christian. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of those open mic musicians, are they talented? You know what? Yesterday they were good. I enjoyed them. There was, right. There was, well, here's, I'll, I'll set it up. <laughs> I'm honest, Christian doesn't look like he thinks so as much. Uh, yeah. Well, no, they're, no they're, they're talented, but they're like, you know, I feel like any people, like a guitar person, like they're all the same. They are. They, they I, you, are. Like I know exactly what you, you, they all have the same five songs. Yeah. It's like. They play it, the landslide. La- well, yeah, the lady played landslide. She's going to play uh, uh, Wonder Wall. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. <laughs> I can't wait to she see. She's gonna be the one that <laughs> saves me. I would love to see now if they start like repeating the same songs, like right. Like, and we, now we start judging him like a comic, like wow, he's using the same material at this mic too. Right. You know what I mean? It's but, it's easy. It's like once you learn how to play the instrument and like and if you can sing, it's kind of easy being a musician. <laughs> Just it's it, to say. it's like kind of extremely easy. What if you're like good at the guitar and like you're naturally can sing and like that was your gift? Like you don't you just have to learn somebody else's shit. It's more no, of a I gift. Was just gonna yeah. say, but there was a guy. So this, how often do they put their own music out well, there? Well, one guy did put his own music out there. But th- let me just preface this by saying this: this open mic was at three p.m. <laughs> on a Sunday. Right. Okay. And I was like, ah, should I go? It's right downstairs from my apartment. So I text Andrew Bergen, and this idiot's like, it's packed. Better hurry up down here. I show up down there. It's Andrew Bergen, Christian, and, you know, <laughs> a couple of musicians. And Brandon Lockwood. Why would you believe him? <laughs> Because I'm a gullible ass. I went down there. And I, like I knew right away. I'm like this idiot. And uh, yeah, so there was there was there was two musicians there, and uh, three o'clock in the, in the afternoon. And I was totally unprepared to do stand up comedy. I'm like, I'll just go down there. If it's packed, I'll 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 go off on you know maybe a musician set, right? 
Like I like I have that. You're kind really of talent. getting confident oh, out yeah, there. Yeah, that you no. could well, he has no excuse not to show up because he literally takes maybe a hundred steps. And he's yeah, there. Well, that's that's it. I was like, I have to go down there. It's maybe maybe a hundred steps. <laughs> maybe <I'm confident. laughs> I don't even. I, I don't, honestly don't even probably think it is that. It's probably less. It's probably less. Um, and I go down there. And uh, yeah, the the, the music. It did, so the way they did it was. Uh, by the way, Brandon Lacaruba, guest of the podcast, uh, is the host of this, and he's gonna host the first half. And he gets up, does his thing, and then leaves immediately because he's got another gig. And 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 Bergen's doing the second half. Now we have comedian. Uh, who went up first? The uh, the the musician, the lady. No, Bergen went up first. Bergen went up first. Okay, yeah, and then you, then the musician went. So you had to follow the lady. I had with to the follow guitar. the lady, and like the lady, she was talented, but it's like she sang landslide. Yeah, it was like just, all sad folk music. It was sad. It was like sad. Trying to make everybody cry. Yeah, I have a hard time. Like I like live music, but I have a hard time in that setting where you have to face them because oh, I, yeah. I don't know what to do with my face. Like yeah. I don't know. <laughs> It's like when you listen to music, it's like, what, do I soak it in like the sun? Like, is yeah. it? Do, do you just sit there and it like you're just... Yeah. Uh, and you got to move your head. Then you got to move your head. And I'm just like, I like, I want to fa- I want to face you sideways. So yeah. I just hear the noise and then I have a conversation. I don't know what to do with myself. Well, like, it's funny that you say that because I don't know if you noticed from where you... I was sitting behind you and there's a big mirror behind the performer. Right. So all I could see was... The back of the performer's face and your face <laughs> okay. right in the mirror. So yeah. I'm watching you the whole time, trying not to make eye contact with the musician. You're like, huh? right, yeah, You're because like she, smiling. because she, her eyes are like closed, and it's like a sad song, and like she sang it, and you know, like she felt the lyrics, and it's oh, just like, I was yeah. like, all right. And the well, other musician, I'm not feeling this. That the other that. musician was feeling it really hard, and then, uh, <laughs> and then. The I guy, feel like comedy and music, although they're both entertainments, shouldn't be mixed together. But it it, it happens. It, it's it depends. You you have to do you have to book the right musicians with with comedy. You have to book somebody who's not set like who's who's like an exciting performer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like yeah yeah you have to get someone who like gets people like 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 up, up a little bit a little bit moving and like. You yeah. can't Talk go sad. You strings. can't go sad. It's no. you, it doesn't mix, and it just like who. Like, who really wants to listen to sad music outside of their own car? Exactly. <laughs> I kind of agree with that. <laughs> that I like, so who, true, who yeah. goes to a concert and, like, like it always... Looking like, for a good cry. Right. Like, people <laughs> go to, like, like a John Mayer concert and they're, like, like uh, slow dancing in a burning room. They, like, listen to, like, yeah, and, like, their wave. I'm like, what are you doing? This is, like, why would you spend your time doing that? Yeah, I it's like, a little... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's you know like really you paid money to be sad to like just listen to it in your car. I I don't get it. I Maybe get it's like emotions. when it's like a people people like to feel emotions. Half these people go through their day, some awful job they hate, and right. they just. They, but I get I I agree with him. I, I like going to shows, but most of the shows I go to are either like a rap show or like a rock group. Right. I've never been like let me let me go see you know stained. So I yeah. fucking want to kill myself right. after I fucking leave the theater. Yeah, like you go, it's just mm-hmm. like, and then as, as sad songs ended, like, in, you know, you give a light clap. Light you're like, <laughs> it was like, just such a different And then vibe. what do you say? They're like, it's, you know, it's like, you look at each other, it's beautiful. Wow, wow, that's so beautiful. It's like, you just, like, wow. thanks, now you ruined my night. That was, <laughs> yeah. You now were, I have to go up and tell my dick jokes? Right. I wa- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What like, you, could you at least made somebody laugh, you know, or, yeah. or, or dance or something? Now I'm just. The guy that I, I followed a guy that did his own oh, music no. and just lost everybody. No, it wasn't terrible. It was about his lady that was. Here's sitting my there. thing. If you are in an open mic and you want to play your own music, like nobody. People. In a music setting, I don't want to listen to something. Yeah, but I've if never an open of. mic, I feel right. like this is where you ha- you should practice your own music, you know. Uh, but I get it. Listen, it's it's it's. It, it I get it. Is. I'm just like, play something. I well, know. well. <laughs> how, how about hey, he was a he was a folk singer. Yes. Oh. So he's like he was like decent on a guitar, but it's like, and his voice was okay, but he's not. It's like folk. I don't know. Like, I hate folk. People are like, I'm a folk musician. It's like, <laughs> just say you can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> J- 
just say you can't if you you're not a folk singer. You, you talk to a rhythm. You can't sing. That's <laughs> yeah. you you the problem is you know how to play the instrument and they're usually really good Great at the instrument. Great musician, yes. They're good at the instrument, but it's like nobody gives a fuck what comes out of yeah. your mouth. <laughs> it's like oh. I don't care. It's like so poetic. It's about this I, I, I like I don't know if I'm at a point in my life I just can't listen to a guy sing about a woman yeah and like yeah. and be like I love you it's like I especially it's like can't. are you 17 like I have you ever can't. felt when's the last time you genuinely felt that way like oh you're like you know the mountains and like the rain and shit it's like I want to hold your hand when's the when's the last time you ever felt like that out like 18 and up zero oh percent chance it's like so true it is so true and it's even worse when the woman is right there watching him like last night where he clearly oh, no. was, wrote a Love for his and it wasn't bad, but it was like, wow, that's definitely about this woman. And she's looking <laughs> around at everybody like a proud parent, like, say what he wrote about me. And yeah. everyone's like, no one cares. Oh, dude, it was a it was it was a weird uh it was a it was fun and I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be good. I follow that guy and <laughs> that guy fell asleep during my set. Yeah. Uh, he he his eyes were closed <laughs> and fell asleep because he he was he gave to, it everything he got. And yeah, he, said he was. He, he fell asleep. <laughs> no, he didn't go up. He yet. went. But he went up before he, you. Me not. No, after he went you. up, yeah. up after uh, me. He yeah, was that's, before. because he's like, I gotta set up my camera, and he and he pulled up like an old camera and and started filming. So I was like, all right, I, I'll go up. I eat shit up there, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to relate to them. Like you know, when I was a kid, I was I I couldn't play the saxophone because I was too short. And and the music teacher actually was like, "That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing." Um, you got to be tall to play the sax. Yeah, when I was a kid in like like third grade in the That's, band, I know that she was joking and just didn't. You were terrible. No, no, they wouldn't. If you're too short, you can't. And you're really sticking with this answer. It's true. And didn't she? She, she did say that. She said it's a true thing. That so, was a landslide lady. She was a music teacher. <laughs> yeah, landslide. because I wanted to play yeah. the saxophone. I thought it was cool. And they're like, y "You're." You know, today you probably couldn't say that. But back then they were like, you're too short. You're going to play the clarinet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm too short to sax. So, like, I was, like, trying to relate to them. And then, you know, they they, they lost me. The, fuck, the guy falls asleep. And then he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, you were really funny. I'm like, you were asleep. And, and he's like, oh, I liked it. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard. It's weird. Musicians are weird because there is a ton of musicians. Yeah. And like they're like when they get good, good they all get at like a super like at like the same level of good. Yeah. Like they they max out, and then it's very rare that somebody gets above it. But they all max out. Like they if, do. It's like it, it's like it's like that landslide lady. There's like four hundred million of her. They call landslide. She's lands. Yeah. There's the landslide. <laughs> There is there is a four hundred million landslide ladies and oh, yeah landslide in general. I'm just picturing a whole vibe, but what this girl looks like, how she sings sitting down on the guitar, I'm picturing. She was great too. Forrest Gump. She, she Jenny's, wasn't bad. Yeah, like that. She's naked on the stage. <laughs> oh guitar. my god. She wasn't bad, no. but it's like it's like there's four hundred billion of you. Yes, yes. Uh, throughout it's, the world. It's it, probably next to Wonder. Uh, uh, I almost had Wonder Landfill. Uh, next to uh, Wonderwall. Wonderwall, that's probably like the most uh, played, covered song. Covered right. song, right? That's yeah. up there, right? That's got it, for, especially for her demographic. Right, what she does, the guitar, like just the guitar. If you're a sing. female guitar player, you have to learn how to play landslide, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, like you, don't yeah. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Oh, man. It comes with the guitar. <laughs> so then I'm like, midway through this mic, you know, none of us, we didn't have a, a, a I don't, we didn't have solid sets. <laughs> For an open mic, I, I just feel like a Sunday too is not the best day. No, and no. I'm like, I'm just going down there. I wasn't expecting. It. I look, I turn around at Andrew Bergen, and he's got a glass of whiskey with one ice cube in it. I'm like, I guess what this is what I'm doing on Sunday. Like, this I, is how it's like going. I just looked at him, and I'm like, I know what's happening now. And we continued to. We went out and drank all afternoon into. 11 I mean we, we I mean it was it was like 7 hours. It was 7 hours. It, it was we like went to a four se different bars or something. It might have been longer cuz the mic start you got there like 3:15, yeah. right? And then we didn't we didn't leave the last bar until 12 a.m. They kicked us out. We were the last people to leave the bar. Now, do you guys I want to see you all do your sets whacked. 
Oh, we did we like no. hammered or, or hammered? Not no. I mean, like, cause I want to see. Uh, yeah. The the, the, yeah. the gloves come off on certain things where people are just so drunk where it's like ah. Eh. I've but been that's ha- like a backyard show. I I've been like. I've yeah. been hammered on stage. Like I've been drunk on stage and like 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 it's I'm fine. Like I like it. You know. Yeah. I don't drink all the time because I. Try not just so like I don't get to a point where, oh, I, I'm gonna get up on stage and have to get a drink or yeah. like or like so I don't do it like that. But I've been on stage like there's sometimes I've been on stage like hammered. It could be fun, but it's I it's good because I'm I'm willing to take a risk. Well, that's what I was saying. You get a little bit right. more of like those uh, mm-hmm. mu- like the beer muscles. Almost. Yeah, yeah I, you're right. I can't be high though. Like some people get up on stage high all the time. I'm like I don't know how you do that. <laughs> that's crazy. Man. I, yeah. I don't know how you don't forget your act. Yeah, I. I, I I'm, <laughs> How do you I, not forget your act? I, you're right because like seasoned pothead. After you got to be seasoned. Yeah, I'm not I a guess seasoned so. pothead. I'm not either. And it, and like it was that one show, Renee Fuentes thing, and I and it, I didn't even smoke, but it was in the air, and I lost everything, and I was just like, Ugh, just talking, like I didn't know what I was saying. I was just ex- telling people what I'm feeling right now. Like I was <laughs> like, I'm feeling numbness. And, you had a panic attack on yeah, stage. Right, it worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, after a few drinks, I could. But I don't know if I got really drunk. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been like. Re- I mean, I've been drunk, but not really. I've never been sloppy. On <laughs> I want to see a bunch of the comics that I know now all get sloppy. It and, would be. And it might be. B, show. B, why don't you do drunk comics at B's backyard? <laughs> Hammered and, comics and that get might people be really that don't fun. drink a lot. <laughs> I don't care if they drink a lot. I just want to see you all go up there whacked because I feel yeah. like. You know, who knows what's going to be said. That would be <laughs> true. It would probably ruin some relationship. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you, know? so you never lonely, know. Yeah. You never know with people. It's like, because like some people are so different when they're drunk. Like they, they really morph into like other human beings. They have yeah. like a second personality. They like like a, I have a couple friends like that. Like a yep. light switch. She's got it one really sip. And right. Like, what the hell? Right. It's like a demon that comes out. You're like, <laughs> I don't even know where... Like this Where is did, not the same person. Like this what? Is, yeah, this is somebody totally different. Because then it makes you think. It's like, what are their actual thoughts? Like yeah. when they're when they're sober, it's What's like I thought this was a completely different. What the fuck is going? They're like <laughs> they're starting fights and like yes. you know they're doing crazy things. That it does make be, you think about that would like, be what's really going on in because, their head. You know, chances are there's like one comic that we would put on the show that has that. Little light right. switch thing where like oh my god I didn't see that from that right, <laughs> yeah. right. whoever it is <laughs> I don't want to guess who it might be but uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know comics are pretty avid drinkers though so I'm not sure if like that's you'd... the thing yeah 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 like because I don't know anybody who doesn't drink that much who's like pretty straight laced Neil Neil doesn't drink Neil doesn't drink but no. Neil's starting to become a pillhead. Yeah, but he pops pills. He, he did you hear? Did you listen to him by any chance on our episode? No, I didn't. What he so say? He tells us that he's starting. He's just picking up the pills. Yeah, he's getting into. He's pills. He's getting into pills. As in, like which ones? Opioids. He told us it's really the exact word. Because after he after he fell down his steps, and, he did and the exact thing that turns people into pill heads. Like yeah, right. Story. He got injured, and I then I got injured. I started taking them, and then I realized I love them. Brett Favre had to have a press conference after <laughs> yeah. an injury yeah. with this one time. So Neil just dropped that Easter egg on yeah. us, and we were like, okay. So note to self: follow up with Neil in yes. six months and see if he's. I like it. He's just like he's like I'm trying him, just trying him out. Trying him. That he might said, be my I thing. have control over it. Yeah, that's what makes me wonder and get nervous about it. I have control over it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I say about pot. I mean, it's a pen. I have zero control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have. Con- I feel like with drugs like that, like that, or like coke, you have control over it when you do it like maybe three times a year. <laughs> But like, if you do it like a weekly basis, and then like it's either like all or nothing. That's what I. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Yeah, pills really scare me. They, like that's something I can't. And I've had people. Somebody sent the show a message that said, "Goodbye, Neil." <laughs> <laughs> but, and he's on the road now. This and he's on the road. It's just slope. he's on a re- he's really playing with uh, fire fire right now. So yeah. well, best wishes he to, also, to Neil. He also dropped this on us. He goes. He goes. I think. Uh, I think Christian Hahn was canceled. Is I that ca- true? I kind of was to an <laughs> what extent. Happened? So you were a victim of the cancel culture. So what happened was, uh, to an extent, I guess I could say I was a victim. So I had. I had 
I had I had a decent following on TikTok. I had like sixteen thousand. Yeah, people. you were you were doing rare. That's more than a decent following for what I consider an everyday Joe. You <laughs> were the type of TikTok guy that my friends who don't know you or don't don't know that I know you, right, would share their like videos of you to me, right. And I'm I, like, yeah, I know this guy. It's crazy. TikTok has crazy spread, like yeah. crazy spread. The I way it's set up. I found friends of mine that know you before they even listen to you on our show, and I was like, "How do you know Christian?" And they were like, "I just find his videos hysterical." Fuck, it's crazy. It, it's, it's crazy. It's, nuts. it's the way TikTok's set up. That like, even though TikTok did ban me, like it, TikTok is the best app. Yeah, it's I, the best. It's the best app, and it's and it's keep- not even close. It's not even close, especially if you're like a creative person. Because if you make a good video, the way it's set up, they make it very easy to share. So you can share when you're on it. You could share it very easily to all the other platforms. See, that's what I, all the other platforms don't share to each other that smoothly. Right, right. Like you can you can share your Instagram post to Twitter, but like it comes out like off like it doesn't come out smoothly. But you some, can't even share Instagram to Instagram. Like, right, it's ridiculous. And yeah, and it's very- and on TikTok, you can download the video. And you can just download it to your phone. Okay, so you have the video. So you have it, so you can keep it. So that's that's what makes it cool. But anyways, I had a small following, and I was doing things, and I, I would do videos where, like, I sketches where I dress up, I would pretend I was Hunter Biden. I was just gonna yeah. say the Hunter Biden is the right, best. and and I would do it like it's like Project X, like his dad's calling him, and he's having like a massive party and shit. It's like totally, it's like it's like it's it's political because it's Hunter Biden, but it's really not. It's just yeah. like I'm making fun yeah. of him because he's like a party animal. <laughs> So as soon like I had a following before I started doing those videos, but as soon as I started doing that, all of a sudden my videos started getting flagged, and like the first Hunter Biden video got taken down. Does it show you who's fla- like? Does it tell you who's offended? It doesn't yeah, tell you who. Does it doesn't, a person watching it doesn't ta- flag it, or is so, TikTok flag? So kind of how it works is you you run into the first issue uh, when somebody else will flag you. Okay. Right, so TikTok gets that's how that's how they get. So noted. another, just somebody watching your video is like, this is inappropriate. Right, who watches that? Oh my god! Because okay. it, it, because because I I was I was I dropped the first video right around the election, <laughs> and like I, I like TikTok, it's very like like because it's anonymous. It's like old school YouTube. Like you remember like old school yeah. YouTube, like the accounts are so anonymous, yeah. and like it, people would just be like, "Fucking kill yourself, you loser!" <laughs> like and that would be like every comment. Right. It's so like because it would never get back to him because it's like anonymous it, yeah. tiktok is like that you have just like user one two three four five six seven and there's no picture and, and they can say whatever they want <laughs> and they have no video they don't do anything no they're there's no there. contact they're yeah. just they're just there there's a bunch of accounts like that and um so what happens is somebody doesn't like a video they flag it and and so what happens is that notifies tiktok to go this video gets flagged what's what's going on here so though so somebody will physically check if it gets enough flags like a person that works at tiktok will oh, check God. it phys- like an actual person so they checked it they took the first they took it down and then you and when they take down a post you can appeal it like it like almost like a mini court so <laughs> You so you can appeal it and then you write and then you write a little message. You get you get 150 characters to be like, hey, hey, you're wrong. That's no. what court's going to be in the future. You get 150 messages. <laughs> to plead right, case. right. Like you got to make it short. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like this is ridiculous. I didn't break any of the <laughs> ridiculous. I did not break any of the guidelines. I'm doing. I'm like pretending to do coke in the video, which like clearly breaks the guidelines. <laughs> And, and this is ridiculous. I'm like, I'm like, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, this is comedy. I'm like, this is uh, un un. And they they they're like, we're reviewing it, and they're like, we'll st- we're still we're still gonna keep it down. And <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, and I was like, all right. And so this is the f- the first video ma- you made. The first Hunter Biden video. The first wow. one oh, I did. The first Hunter Biden. Video. The first no. Hunter, not my first video okay. ever, my first Hunter Biden video. So, but then after that, like my, cause like I was taking some risk on TikTok and like I have like, there's like videos where it was, where it's like CEOs in 2021 <laughs> and he like, it's a CEO who only values his company on how woke he is. So like, he, <laughs> so he's like, he's so he's like, he's like, I'll chop my cock off if that's what the, the stockholders want. <laughs> so that, and then, so then like, and then, uh, those videos would get, would get, uh, Taken down, flag, flag. Te- flag. They get flagged too, um, <laughs> and, and so it was getting flagged, but nothing like they weren't. But that was it. Was only on they took down what they only took down one video. They they took down one video. I peeled it and I actually got it back up. And then they they the the chopping off your cock video. They no the, no like, not that one. They couldn't. <laughs> 
No, no, that that one got flagged. I should that one got flagged on Instagram. Oh, interesting. Okay, wow, so okay. so I had uh, so the CEO videos actually didn't get touched on on TikTok, <laughs> but but the Hunter Biden was and one of my Long Islanders moving out of state was that one got taken so funny oh. uh, that one got taken down and then I got I got who it who gets offended by I this got, and I got I and I got it back up. Uh, oh, you did. So it was only so I only had one video get that got taken down. Okay, o- officially. So like to me in my head, I'm like three strikes. You know, you get three yeah. strikes. <laughs> so. Uh, How am I gonna get number two? So, so I'm, so I'm just doing my videos. I'm not, and then like I'd go through a spree. I don't have any issues, and then oh, b- you know what I started doing when if I if it was like political or whatever, I, like if I spelled Biden, I'd be like B number one, D <laughs> three, just and then to try I, and like yeah. yeah, so they don't, so it doesn't like because if you write Biden, they, it, they'll pick it up, yeah, you know, so. uh Unreal. I started doing that, and I was flying under the radar, and like the people who followed me liked it, and they were they're still getting hits or whatever. But where I made a big mistake was this was like the this was like, and it's so crazy because it's not related <laughs> to anything. I put a clip up where I was doing my own podcast, and I talked about this woman. Her name is uh, Holly Mangold, and she is Nick Mangold's uh, sister. Nick yep. Mangold's sister, who is a lineman oh, the for the bitch. Jets. Yeah. Right, There's right. There's a time I wish the Jets signed her. <laughs> right, right. So, anyways, it was when that it was when that girl kicker at at Vanderbilt, like when that story yeah, yeah. was hot. So I was just like, so I brought up Holly Mangold. I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like she she laid down the pavement for this lady, and like, and she was a center. Yeah. You know what I mean? She was yeah. like, she was played a real position. But anyway, so I it's brought a real her, position. <laughs> right, look, like, come on, like, they, like so she kicked a squib kick. I right? love how like, everyone gets all over for kicking a fucking ball. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. squib kick. Yeah. Right, it was like the worst <laughs> kick ever, and they lost. They lost by forty, but yeah. that's that's. <laughs> But she it's hit the extra point. Yeah, it was so, dude. I was so mad because it's like even like the coach on the other team, they're like, "Yeah, we won," but the real, real hero is her. It's like, shut the fuck up. You guys won. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you won. You are the story. Yeah. You destroyed them. <laughs> you kicked the shit out of them. You beat the shit out of them. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I, I that's how Holly Mangold gets brought up. So I, I, uh, so Holly, so. Holly Mangold was on was on the she, okay so after she finished playing football she became an Olympic weightlifter yes. yes okay so she competed in the heavyweights of Olympic weightlifting she was like four hundred and fifty pounds right so she so she's uh, like the Olympics end and then she goes on the show Biggest Loser and she loses <laughs> and she loses two hundred pounds right and then the Olympics come back again and she gains all the weight back so she can compete into the yeah. heavyweights right. So I brought up that that clip, and it's a clip of her like like doing like the clean and press or something. And I'm like, you know, let's be real. Like, is this actually a sport? If you could do it while 75 percent body fat, <laughs> you it can't be a sport if you can simultaneously die of a heart attack. <laughs> so, so that's what I said, and so I I I took that, which is aggressive. Yeah, but listen, it's, there's some truth in it. It was a truth. So, a anyways, I I put up I put up that segment. It was like a one minute clip. I put it up, and I was like, whatever. I'm just gonna throw it up on TikTok. Like the people that follow me will like it. Like I don't think it's gonna go viral or anything. I like, just yeah. throw it up. I, I want some content up there. I want to drive people to the podcast. Yeah. So I put it up, and fucking uh, all of a sudden it gets caught up in the Jim Bro algorithm. <laughs> Wait, what's gym? What's the like, gym, bro? Like a gym, bro. Alg- like people who like power lift and like all the gym rats. Oh, oh gym like oh. gym rat, gym bro. Oh. So like people that are into fitness and if they, all they do is post them working yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. They- Yo, they're fucking. I've done political shit. I've said crazy shit. <laughs> There's not a group of people who get more offended than people in the fitness community. <laughs> <laughs> Like you would have thought, I fucking killed a puppy, dude. Oh, because it was like crazy. Because I've ha- like, I'm what do they care? Like, what are they saying? Like, we're a sport. What is, what dude, it's, it's violent. It's violent because this is all what they do. Because because like fitness on on like on like TikToks like big. So like people will do like their squat, like put like their squat on. <laughs> so. So, th- so all these guys do is like you do reply videos on TikTok. So like they'll they'll reply and they'll like just like trash some guy's squat form. And like that's how they get big. They're like, dude, it fucking the guy's not going ass to grass. His his back is bending when he's doing that deadlift, and that's all they do. And they're like ruthless. They fuck. They're ruthless to each other, like mean. 
And and so I got caught up in that, and because I said I'm like, yo, weightlifting is not a real sport. And wait, like, were oh. they doing reply stuff to your video? And then so so they started. So like I've gotten hate comments and stuff, and like fine, yeah. whatever it happens. I've I never kind of wish I one day I want to get enough people watching where I get those hate comments. It's 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 a weird feeling when it when you have a video go viral in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, because it, it it's it's because it's different when a video is and people are like it's funny and you're like yeah, you know yeah. maybe ten percent of your comments are shitty. It's like it's different when like every comment's like <laughs> every comment's like you you piece of fucking shit. I hope you die. It's like and it was like on mass and like so. Anyways, they're doing all the reply videos and it's and it's all the all the guys look the same. Yeah, all, yeah. they're all first of all they're all it's like listen I know you all play D3 line and like and you're upset because you know you couldn't make practice squad like you know it's like. So they're all the same guys, and they're all like, "Fucking like, look at this kid. He's all, uh, you know, vir- puny, v- virgin." I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, you love weights way too much. Clearly, you don't get pussy because yeah. nobody who gets pussy loves weights that much." Yeah. <laughs> right so it's so they're all like they're all like and they all have like they're all like like have like the same like massive big no neck. big beard they're, and yeah. like they they're powerlifter guys so they're just they're like they're not they're like fat but muscular too it's <laughs> like they're just they just look like they're it's about solid yeah. fat solid there's fat a line with like some people that like you don't know they're if they're fat or strong, like some people, <laughs> yeah. just, like like their know? arm, their arms are big, but like and like yeah. muscular, but nothing else, and like right. and they're all like fucking virgin piece of shit, <laughs> like uh, blah, blah, blah. and all the comments like you're not a real man making fun of a lady, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. right. Oh. So the gym bros are attacking me, and it's like it's an <laughs> the all gym bros. It's an all out assault, and you know the video was doing bad because the video had more comments than likes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when that happens, when you look at a video and it has more comments than likes, that yeah. means that person's getting trashed. Yeah. Like fucking, like it's Are it's you ground alerted z- every time. Like you're going throughout your day and bing. I'm getting them every. I've never had so many. <laughs> like the, I had like 25 to like 35 <laughs> rep- reply videos. What is your day like? You wake up in the morning and there's like 10 gym dude, bros after your ass. Dude, and they <laughs> snap your fucking neck. Right, and it's like true hate. They like yeah. actually hate you. Go, you're like because it's not a comment. They're like their video and they're. They're like mad oh, so at you can me. See, you can see like their veins. Pulsing. They're like mad. Yeah, they're like, what do you mean, dice for? <laughs> and then and then and then I'm like I'm like I'm like a, then I have like then like my I'm like fuck these guys and then they. Were you commenting back? I, I was I, at the beginning. I was commenting yeah, back because I, I th- because I thought I could win this war. Yeah. <laughs> so so my comment was, they're like, "How are you saying this is not a sport?" I'm like, "Weightlifting is just as much of a sport as professional eating." <laughs> So like I would try and make it like like you know what you are right it's like yeah. professional eating like yeah. if you consider sport. professional eating a sport then that's a that's a sport too, <laughs> right? So I so that was my comment on all of them. So then I started on the reply videos. That I would write back. I'm like it's just as much as a sport as professional eating. That's because they're mad that I just said it wasn't a sport, yeah. right? And then when things this is when it really started getting bad, because. <laughs> And, and like, first off, I'm like, I can't believe that, like, this, this is the, this is the hell I'm gonna die on. Like this, yeah. this video, like, I just threw it up. Like, I didn't even I give a shit. I can't believe it's this video, dude. So this is where it gets bad. All of a sudden, it gets, it gets around because when TikTok, it throws it into like a certain algorithm. It's like the gym algorithm, yeah. and then it'll, it'll look, leave it in there, and then it's just every person who's ever gone to a gym will see this. <laughs> And then, and then it starts like the gym bro algorithm. And then they threw it into fat, the fat shaming oh, algorithm. No. That was when it went. Wor- that's when I knew this is a nuclear bomb. I'm not coming back <laughs> because because you're the skinny white male oh who's my- making fun of fat women. Because they they were all first of all, this is what's this is what's devious about it. You can reply to a video on TikTok, but you can cut it so it's not the whole video. No. So what they were doing was they were cutting it when I because it, it, they were cutting it so the video was just me looking at a picture of her I'm I'm like and I'm just saying she's seventy five percent body fat <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it and then they so were they're pl- cutting your video they they cut it up they cut it up so they didn't even see my point. <laughs> So they cut it up and then and Chris, it's like you missed the joke. Right. They cut it and then it's like you can't defend yourself because yeah. 
and so so they they uh so they're, they're going and it's all like you know you and then they turned it then they turned the inverse on me they were like you're making fun of somebody who's trying to lose weight she's been working hard this what this <laughs> like this is what they're all saying i'm like you don't know who this is you don't know who this is. This yeah, person they have gained no weight. No idea the backstory. Of- she, they're like, she's working hard to lose weight, and you're gonna make fun of her. And <laughs> guess what? It was all skinny white guys that replied. No women replied. And and what the big the big bomb was this guy who had like a million plus followers replied to it. Oh no! And then he called out all my other social medias. He goes your YouTube channel. He's like you know he's like he went around the horn. Right, like, right because because he said uh, he's like he's like your YouTube channel. He's like uh, uh, your Instagram. And so then it started flooding into my other social medias, and that started getting like I started to get a little freaked out because it was so many people. It was so <laughs> because it's because it's going and on TikTok you can't. Like stop it once it's going viral. It's like you know it doesn't end. You're like how you're like oh my god. You can't even take it down at this point. Like it doesn't even matter, right? Right, Because if I take it down, the the reply videos stay up. Yeah, that's what it is. So So then it's just your little clip, right? Like yeah. So just my little clip. So so uh, it it stays. So if they reply to it, that part stays up forever. (laughs) Holy. So I'm like I'm like oh my. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe – because it, then it gets weird because then all of a sudden they're leaking and all of a sudden I'm getting, like, comments on my on my Instagram. Like, people like, why do you hate women? And, like, just randomly on my YouTube, I'm getting, like, YouTube comments like, why do you, ha- why do you hate people who go to the gym? Like, it just, like <laughs> – <laughs> Doesn't make it, and it, they're like defining. It. I like it. For, the first thing I got rid of, I was like, my LinkedIn's gotta go. I'm LinkedIn like, these people gone. cannot find out where I work. LinkedIn's gotta <laughs> yeah, go. LinkedIn has to go. <laughs> LinkedIn's gotta go. They're gonna find my LinkedIn. They're gonna see my resume, and they're gonna like this. Uh, it's gotta go. <laughs> LinkedIn, LinkedIn. I'm like, I don't. I barely even use it anyway. Let's that's go. Hilarious. That's the first thing you. That's that was the first. That was the first thing. Makes I, much more it's sense, funny yeah. that the only thing that's like somewhat serious, like, it's gotta go. <laughs> it's gotta go. So I got so okay. So anyway, so it was going crazy. Um, and then like I ended up deleting. I deleted the video, and I was just like, "It's." Get, I'm like, I got to do damage control because like I don't. Re- it's not like it's one of my sketches that I care about. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'll delete the video. I like I don't feel any pride or anything. So delete the video. I blocked everybody that did the reply video. Like I'm just sort of trying to do damage control because I know these people are reporting me, and I'm like, I because. You know, I'm like thinking about my account as a whole. Yeah. I'm thinking about my other accounts too. I'm like, they're gonna report me on everything. So, um, you know what bothers me is you really you were one of the few comics who took the quarantine and kind of went a different avenue and was successful at it. Yeah, right. And for some woke motherfucker and idiot, that's what just, it is. That's what it is it out really there. Is. It, one person pisses. Gets pissed off, right? <laughs> and then and so I delete the video. <laughs> one and, group of people, one group right? Of people. A ma- it was, it was a massive. People. It was yeah. it was probably close to like a hundred and one hundred fifty thousand people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deliberately coming after me. <laughs> so so I delete the post and block everybody or whatever, and I'm like, damage done. I'm like, I think I'm you know I'm gonna get comments, but I'm like, I think whatever, I'm good. I go, I, I'm I, at this point. I'm like actually having a panic attack because it's it's really when you're on the opposite end of it and you think like some people are like oh it doesn't bother me. It's like no, it's, it sounds it's, terrifying. It's freaky because you can't control it. Yeah, and it's nonstop. Yeah, so I'm like I'm like having a panic attack because like, then you start to think of like what happens if I run into five of these that's gym it. rats yeah. out. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I'm like. <laughs> Because oh, it's so God. many, you start to think like these people are going to invade my house. Like it, it's so many, it's yeah. so many people. Yeah. Like the, I'm like I know one of these people lived. You ever tell your parents me, like just, uh, just watch out for gym rats? Right, right. <laughs> so like, any, I I block whatever. I I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning and I just go to check my my TikTok and I check it and it goes your account has been permanently banned. And then I'm just like, okay. I was a little relieved. Honestly, I was actually kind of relieved. I was like, at least the storm's over. <laughs> As at least the storm's over. I was still getting people on my Instagram and stuff like leaking over because the, because of the reply videos and they're finding me. So I ended up. I just I kind of shut down everything. Okay. So I was I, gonna say because I didn't see anything. For I a I, bit. I shut down. I tempor- temporarily shut down everything uh, because just like you know what, let me just. Take it and then come yeah. back a few like come back a few weeks people later. People are forgetful. Something like that. That's forgetful. I just needed two weeks to just to just clean the slate, and then they're not they're not going to remember that anymore. Yeah. The, the guys that replied, they do like a million reply videos every yeah. day. So yeah. so I'm like I'm, I'm like way down their page. No one's going to see it. Mm. 
so I did so I did that, but I I was uh um so I'm like or oh, whatever I'll just wait a few weeks and I'll just make a new TikTok. So I tried to make a new TikTok, uh like a few you know a few weeks ago and uh your IP address that's blocked. Right. So like I go and then like it's not letting me. I'm like, am I still blocked? And so then I ended up I ended up reaching out to the customer service and you can text How them. How is TikTok's customer service? It's just like a chat that you just oh, message. Right. But is it like quick? Like no, what? they took like two days. I'm like, I'm like, you're, you're TikTok. Don't you have like an automated like, yeah. you know? But anyway, so it took a while, but they replied back and, and they said, because uh, I asked them, I'm like, are you going to restore my account or can I make a new account? And they're like, hey, thank you for reaching out. Uh, you broke our violent extremist policy. <laughs> and violent extremist. And you, your account has been banned forever, and your fo- and your device has been banned. You will not be able to make it another another account with this device. So, so you're ban- now when it's device, does it mean your phone? My like, phone, my phone. You should just use your iPad. And, well, that's what I did. <laughs> I bought I, I, I bought an iPad. I bought an iPad so I put all my social medias on an iPad so I don't keep it all on my phone. <laughs> so I don't check so I don't check it. So I just so I just bought it cuz it's worth it. It, it. it was worth it because with TikTok like even though they banned me, it's such a good app if you're a creator because yeah. All the effects they, they it's it's very easy to make a sketch. Okay. It makes it so easy to make a sketch because I remember I used to not make sketches because I'm like all the editing. It's like blah blah blah. Oh, TikTok yeah. makes it so easy. The green screen effect is so the way I, you can I cut have it. No idea. We got to get it. on TikTok. I know. You I've have tried, to. I've tried. I'm. D- you got to be. I think I. I don't think I have that skill. No, no. You because it took me a while to build a following. Dude, first. you're cooking. Videos could be all on TikTok. Cooking's yeah. huge. Anything that's like a skill, it like it, it, it does. You have to get on. Like, what is your process when you do it though? Like, like, do you write it out? Like, you're writing. Yeah. It out? Okay. I write it I out like actually, I'm. I was gonna get into that. I wanted to hear the rest. Of it, but what is your creative process with the the TikTok videos? It is. Well, it it like the good thing about it's not off the. It's, you're not doing it off the cuff. No, no. no I, I always I write them out. I have to. I think it, like I don't well, know. I agree. How, They're awesome, and I don't. I mean, I would be even more impressed if they were off the cuff, to be honest. But right. Yeah, no, I'm not that like, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that good of a TikTok aficionado. You get better at it, though, as soon as you start figuring out what your voice is and what, like, it is it is like stand-up because you and the people who like your shit also create it at the same time. So you're kind of yeah. bouncing off of them. Yeah. And then you learn, like, little tricks. It's like, okay, it's like, as soon as the videos start, it's like, it's something has to immediately, have to be something quick. I can't have, it can't be a long line and then the end right, is something yeah. funny. Like, your first cut, it's got be the f- like the funniest Three seconds short- in you got funniest like- shortest thing uh get right to the point people need to know exactly what it is don't leave it like people comics in the city write these sketches they're like these like a uh, web series and it's like takes them f- they write to hit the joke it takes mm. them forever it's like nobody's investing in this this thing's 10 minutes long you guys can't act your camera work sucks yeah. <laughs> it, it's like you know it's yeah. over it's over let it go you're not writing a sitcom and that's the thing and that's the issue with comics on this they think they have to write it like a sitcom it's different it's it's being funny, so it's related to stand up comedy, but it's it's but it's got to be quick hitting. You need quick, to grab their attention. Quick hitting, uh, the way you title certain things. That's why I like the title to be big and red. So as soon as you look at it, you know exactly what the video is about. It creates an interest. Um, you figured out what Motown figured out. They had all their songs when they first did it. They said if the first ten seconds weren't like get, like getting people going, they wouldn't record the song. Yeah, like if it was a slow. Opening, they wouldn't record the, the music. Makes sense, right? So if you sense listen a to of- a lot of Motown songs right away, it's like as soon as it starts, it's like a nice little beat, yeah. or you know, they get right into it. Yeah, it's huh. people got to know it immediately. You're the Barry Gordy of comedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's like people need to know exactly what they're getting into. People don't invest in a lot of time on the video. There's so much stuff out there. Yeah, so that's... there's like, there's like little tricks, but you get, you get better at it and you start figuring it out. And then there's also like things, there's niches that you can get into. Like when I first, I first initially built my following because I was hitting a Long Island niche. You were doing that, the, 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 the... the... I was doing name like the, the um, Loretta Penn Loretta, and Dennis. Yes, I was doing funny. Loretta, and and then it really started taking off when I started doing the, the Long Island Town videos. The Long Island yeah. Town videos, I yeah, loved. Those are going, cra- those are going crazy. Uh, and then I was doing the Long Islanders moving out of state, and so that when you're in a specific niche, you'll see like certain whether it's like Italian or Greek or whatever. If if you get and you really hammer that niche and you make that and you're somewhat, you know, if you if you're really specific. 
you don't really have to be that good. People just like how are just happy that people that. feel good when it, they feel like it's close to home. They hear your. T- That's your why people town, like the yeah. Long Island town videos because I would do it. And people like no one's ever said anything about Riverhead beside yeah. outside of Splish Splash. What did you say yeah. about Riverhead? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, what did I say about it? I don't. It must remember. have been Splish Splash, what, right? I I I, 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 I you, yeah. yeah well, I, I said I said I I think I said your your town looks like the apocalypse had already happened and people are trying to rebuild society and no one gives a shit about this place besides Splish Splash in the yeah. aquarium. <laughs> so or something like that. I forgot what I said, but um, no people like the because t- there's just like they weren't like genius. You know what I mean? Right, but. But it's, they were they were they were on like they, 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 they were, were on point. I really knew the ta- I like I I knew the ta- like I have a weird because like I did comedy at, on Long Island <clears> for <throat> so long before I even stepped foot in the city. So I know yeah. the towns really well, and I worked at like a billion different Starbucks's throughout Long Island. Yeah. So I just know the town. So I know people from different towns. So I knew everywhere like really well, like more than the average Long Islander. Yep. At the end, I was doing so many that I had to outsource my information, especially like deep <laughs> yeah. in Nassau County. I'm like. What happens is all the towns. End I remember up in- one you were reaching out to us about uh, uh, Farmingdale because I didn't like know anything outside of, of yeah. Adventureland that was like specific to Farmingdale because all the towns start to become the same. Right. Yeah. They so do. like the like the rich towns are the rich towns, the poor ones are the poor ones. The only town that is different than every other town is Brentwood. That's the only one because that's it's like heavily. It's the only one that's like. Um, incredibly Hispanic, like population wise, it doesn't make any sense because there's like out towns out east where it's like half Spanish, half white. Right. But it's like Brentwood's the only place that's like what, like you know, obviously I'm gonna say MS13. Uh, they yeah. they their their high schools like like I have friends in Brentwood. Like he's like yeah, half the high school graduated. Like half the girls are pregnant. Like yeah. it's <laughs> like there's nowhere else like right. that. Like on Long Island. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all the towns. So I had to stop doing. It. I, I, cause my, I was getting too Long Island specific. Yeah. And I was like, okay, like it was good about the audience that like I need, but I knew it was done, so I stopped doing them because I was and just like, to what are you gonna do every them? single town? Like you did a few. Of them. Right. How many are you gonna keep? On? Right. That yeah. was exactly it. And then like it's just like you know I'm I'm trying but the to perform Cuomo outside. Stuff, you know that that was. I think everything's right. good when you do it. You do it a little bit. You give people a little more of what they want, and then you have to cut it before it's like you want to. You want to get people who have the crossover. So like, okay, like with the Long Island shit, I knew when once I started doing Hunter Biden or anything that's like somewhat political, I'm gonna lose a bunch of them. Mm. But I'm gonna get the crossover with the people who like the both, yeah. and that's when the people start getting. That's when the people who follow you start getting passionate about you because then you feel really specific. That's when you feel really specific to them because, oh, he does Long Island shit. Then Then he also does this that like I like and I feel like I relate to and then if you hit him on like a third sort of like yeah, thing it. you got him yeah. then you got him because then they're like this guy's like I can't believe this guy's like me you know what I mean yeah, even yeah, though yeah. it just so they get really so when you really try new things but so it, like when you stick to like a certain specific like demographic you build an audience quick but you you max out and you don't really grow you get yeah. to a certain point you get really big like there's Anthony Rodia and he he's very specific not just to, to, to Italian but people but parent who like parents that came from Italy yeah. like if your yeah. parents came from Italy like he crushes it because he he's hit that right so he like like people do it and he and he's and he has no issue with it like he's like that's just what I do and I specifically do that and then he won't step outside of it which is it, but it works you yeah. know he sells out he sells out like Louis C.K. yeah you know yeah. crazy well it's like Sebastian Maniscalco is pretty niched as far yeah, as he's niched up, but he but, but he's outside. He's not. Some people like throw him into the Italian mix, but he's not. Like he 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 talks about his dad being Italian, but he's he's been able to step outside of it. Yeah, he he, he has, but he does. I mean, majority of his stuff, I and I I love him. I think he's hysterical, yeah. but right. majority of his shit. I, don't, I mean, even if he steps out a little, it's about an Italian household. You're yeah. right. No, yeah, you're right. Like even from the, the the things about having the cookies and just like it's just everything is like right. Yeah. You know, it, it's relatable though. It's it's still yeah. It's, no, it's it's, it's still things. family shit. Yeah, family. It's family yeah. shit. Like even though even though it's like Italian, it's family shit. So yeah. he he gets people and outside of it. Everybody knows an Italian family like that. It's it's just right. yeah. so it's like you don't even have to grow up being Italian to like you know right. But um, but that's I mean you uh, as far as your TikTok career I'm trying to I'm trying to strategize yeah, what, what you're, am I gonna do well I if you do, if you cook I can do my Seamus Maniscalco bit right <laughs> my Irish <laughs> Maniscalco no that's a problem because I'm Irish too like that's a problem with being Irish it's like I meet somebody they're like I have Irish pride I'm like shut up yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
No, you don't. Yeah. What? What? Like, What's it, your Irish pride? Like Irish people came over here and like immediately ditched like whatever like culture that there was. It's like yeah. I don't even. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm like I'm. I get sunburned. That's how Irish I. They're like yeah, that's yeah. like that's my cultural I like, and I like Guinness. That's it. That's but what I, I'm doing now. Like I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm going against Irish. I'm. I'm like it's terrible. It's terrible to be Irish. You know, we're we're pasty. We drink too much. And there's no like like every like Your food sucks. Our food right. isn't great. It's bland. It's but one day on St. Patrick's Day, I like a good corned beef and cabbage. It's the only so day of the year that I can eat corned beef. Yeah, maybe. Are we, your but, mom probably doesn't make a great corned beef. Though. She makes a fantastic corned beef. I'll have to try that myself. But the issue is, is like with Irish people, is like, uh, th- like every nationality has good and bad stereotypes. Irish people just had bad, have bad stereotypes. There's, <laughs> good. Yeah, there's no, no one good one. ones. It's <laughs> like, it's like they're drunk. Even they're the drunk, good ones depressed. are backhanded. Like right, like oh, you could drink a lot. No, right. yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like nothing positive. The like, Irish can tell a good story. That's true. Right. Irish can tell a good that, story. That really, uh, yeah, no, that's is a, that a, like a trait though? I never heard that. You know, you, yeah, yeah. I w- I was listening to uh, it was I, I, it was t- it was like an old Tim Dillon podcast, and he had Colin Quinn on. And they were talking about being Irish, and Tim Dillon said like one of the most like like in, like things I've never even thought about. He's like he's like Ir- Irish people are a group of people that have a, a bunch of useless knowledge just at <laughs> yes. hand. And We're, Colin Quinn is the perfect guy because Colin Quinn will be like, no, some. Pub oh, in Queens from 1972. Right. He's like, no, I was on the corner there. And there was Patty McWagons across the right, street. Right, right, <laughs> right. We're all like really good at like history, like yeah. knowing historical yeah. facts and, yeah. and like shit like that. But it's like, but to no use. We no can't. Use. Mon- we don't know how to monetize our knowledge. No. <laughs> no. Irish people can't monetize their knowledge. That's that's no. it. No, but I'm because like if you're a cook on TikTok. You know, I'm trying to it, it, the cooking game. Like maybe I'll try to, I haven't. I, I'm, you start things and then stop. Yeah, TikTok, TikTok is but, being consistent. But people liked his cooking videos, and I'm not saying like oh, I'll do it every week. But like, yeah, but they were, you did me, you did your your niece, and everybody loved them, and then you stopped. I know, but you they, don't even go back to it ever. Like you just no. Stop. I plan on getting back the, the when, cooking because when, after everybody's already because over the them? cooking stuff was. Long. It was like a ten minute video, and it's a lot of. See, this is the thing about you. You think it just comes out. Like, no, I don't. It, I know it's work. It's but like if you're trying to craft, you know, and have and develop a following, like for you who, who wants to maybe incorporate this stuff with their I comedy. Know. Yeah, listen, I just, what, you're telling me it's too much work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's a ridiculous. You excuse. you you can you can do TikTok. You could do TikTok pretty easily. Like it, like a good example is what I use. Like I would have on my old TikTok account. I would do these videos. Um, uh, white athletes that give white people hope. Yeah, I saw those. That was. So good, yeah. So those, they wouldn't do good on Instagram because, uh, like, my Instagram, like, my audience is, not that they're weird, but they're very, like, they're... Specific. Yeah. I like those videos. They but made the, sense to me. But, no, no, As no. As a they, white athlete, I enjoy those. No, videos. but but when I did them, they were easy to do, but when I did them on TikTok, they were, they were the ones that actually got the most hits. They would really? crush. Yeah. So the people, like, really liked, because it was like, you know, because it's a true thing. Like, I grew up... I wasn't a great athlete, but both my brothers are collegiate football players. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah, my brother played paid, uh, played for Penn State. My oldest nice. brother. Yeah, Joe Paterno's been over my house for dinner. Get out of here. Yeah, I met Joe Paterno. Is that true? I, I, I know your brother played for Penn State. I didn't know Paterno was over there. Well, if he's getting yeah. recruited, Paterno makes a couple visits. Right. So he must have been pretty good if, if, if Paterno was coming out. My, my oldest brother, Matt, was like a really good athlete. Lineman? No, no, no. He was a, he was a running back. White running back. Wow. White running back. He rushed for like I don't know. He had like he he played for St. Anthony's. He had like crazy like records. Like Did fuck, he? he was like a freak athlete. He was he was like full grown by the age of ten. Like he was like <laughs> yeah. a, he was a freak athlete. Like I'm, it's so crazy it's because so bo- weird. Yeah. Both my brothers are like 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 really good athletes. Like Kevin's like a good athlete, but he pay- he played for Monmouth. Like you know he wasn't yeah. he wasn't like a, a professional. Like my my oldest brother, he didn't play in the NFL, but he got he got a tryout with the Raiders. Like nice. he made it through like a few cuts. Oh, in the he Raiders. did. That's wow. Crazy. He tore his ACL senior year of of college. So. I think- that was, that, yeah. that was dead. Like once you tore it, once you're you a white it, running back with an ACL injury, you're out. Yeah. No, you're done. No, but that's really like the that's like <laughs> literally what they you know. It's, if he didn't, it, that's actually what it's like. They're like he's really, not a black guy. We can't, it's that, but that's really yeah, how it's it is. True. Yeah, but it's if, if he didn't tear his ACL, there's a chance he probably could have gotten 
you know, it the squad it, or something. It, it, yeah. it wouldn't, he wouldn't have had, I don't think he would have had a long career. He had, no, but he would have gotten. Practice squad, you make 375. Maybe get there, there, you know. Yeah, yeah, he would have been pre- practice squad. And he would have, if he would have, if he would have made it to the field, he would have been, uh, you know, probably like special teams guy. Yeah. I don't know if he would have really get, he might have gotten reps. Yes. He was, he was, he was, the problem was he was, he was a fullback in college and he went into this, into the league as a fullback. And by that time, the fullback position is. Is d- near more yeah. gone, and and it, and it, it started to come back with certain teams, but like, but it's few and far between. Few yeah. and far between. But he got Allstock into the league. Yeah, gone. he got. He was like right when he graduated college. Uh, it was when every single team in the league was doing a spread offense. Like yeah. it was right, just right. like he would have had to been like a slot guy, and he he just wasn't tall enough to be a slot yeah. guy. Did He's he like, play with? Uh, I'm sure he did, but like any any famous pros, like guys that like really made it. Uh, well, what year did he? What did he go to Penn State? Do you know? Do you wanna? No, good? that's fine. Uh, he graduated. His, his senior year was, I think, oh eight. He went from oh four so to. At least o- he was in there before all the uh, the Dan scandal Husky stuff. Yeah. So he. Had, so he had. Uh, yeah, he had just finished, and then the Sandusky stuff yeah, came. He up. knew that Sandusky was, though, right? No, he, Sandusky. Sandusky was probably around, but not coaching. No, he wasn't a coach. Okay, he okay. wasn't a coach. Right. Like that had that that was the nine. Like that was the nineties that, yeah, that got him. Sandusky it, but, was just kind of around the program. Oh, he was. That, yeah, that's he wasn't right. Coaching You're right. He wasn't yeah, coaching. it was the nineties. That was like a crazy time. That was like it was crazy for like our family because we were like huge like Penn State and like we knew we knew Joe. We didn't. We I, we never we didn't know Sandusky obviously, but we knew Joe Paterno. Like yeah, fuck it. Like I've been over to Joe Paterno's house and he had he had uh, adopted like eight kids yeah he was a good dude he yeah. just he you know. was a great guy dude it's when you when he went to penn state they literally worshipped him oh, like he was a guy like yeah. there's just there was statues murals everywhere yeah, like it was nuts and when my brother played he paterno was in his like 80s like he wasn't really coaching when your f- brother played it was probably when the redhead dude was in the process of like getting yes. groomed as the coach yeah yeah, yeah. and then it was jay and, it, and jay and paterno his son his son, son was coaching son too. too yeah jay paterno. so uh yeah, but Joe Paterno would like he was just on the field. They just kept him on the field. Like you, he like he would. My yeah, brother he said was he was a figurehead. He was a figurehead. My brother said he would call. Like sometimes he would. They would let him call a play, and he would call a play from like 1985, and like nobody knew it was like a triangle offense. Like remember <laughs> that? Like you'd say like, halfback dive. And the and the, <laughs> and the in the in the eighties, they would have like five like running backs in the yeah. backfield. Like it didn't even make any sense. Like. <laughs> True, we're running triple I offense. Jesus Christ! Well, you like you could tell. It's like, oh, Penn State's in a wishbone. Yeah. <laughs> wishbone. They're in a wishbone. Play. wishbone. <laughs> well, your family was a Penn State. Like you guys rooted for Penn State before your brother, or was this after? No, after okay. he already committed. All right, my I was gonna father say. Father and my brothers were always big Penn State guys. Really? So, yeah, okay. they were huge Penn, Penn State. Penn, fans. Like, the Big Ten has like really passionate fans. Yeah, like, my the, dad will still defend Paterno. He's that old. If you're an old school Italian coach, my dad will defend you. Oh, he's fr- you and Paterno. Yeah. Paterno's from Brooklyn, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad is from Red Hook. It, it is. So it's the, just, forget about the it. The Paterno story is weird. It, it's weird because, like, my brother will, my brother was, will still, uh, like, defend him because he knew Joe Paterno. He's like, Joe Paterno's a good guy. I think the thing was. Joe Paterno's a good guy who got caught up in a bad situation. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he got, and, and it was, it was, they came under so much fire. He it's got like, scapegoated. There was nothing he and he was so old. He wasn't mentally with it. He, he was He just was. Yeah. He couldn't it's even so defend sad. himself even if he wanted it, it to. It really is the whole situation. And you know sad, what happened? You know? Is he knew what was going on. He told whoever it was. Could he have done more? Yes. No. But he's probably like you know what they don't. He's an old dude at that time. Like, yeah. They're not gonna handle it. How a young. I don't know. They just, they they took down the there was they took down the statues oh, of him yeah. like at like so when sad. like there it was almost like when Saddam Hussein was like yeah. fucking yeah. take it was like killed like like people pulling him pulling down with ropes. Down. Yeah. <laughs> It was like an old Soviet Union, like like taking down the Stalin the shit. The Berlin Wall comes down. <laughs> oh my god! So oh, it's, Joe. it's fucking Joe Pa. Joe Pa. Joe Pa. Yeah, they they would because we would go to the pep rallies and they'd have him go up there and like it was just like drunk students and he would yeah. go up there. He would he would literally like Wearing wouldn't make any sense and the people were like. Ah! Ah! He'd be like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> they went to his house yeah. cheering for him when he got yeah. fucking fired. Like, oh, they loved. They were in love. With they him. loved yeah, that guy. Of course. 
There is you there is ne- there'll, there'll never be a coach that was like loved like that. No, I mean you have like b- like you. Bobby Bowden who was like around for like a million years, but like Joe yeah. Paterno was like really a mythical god. To, it was it, it was. was so and when you when we went He's back like sweet old man, he looks like everybody's he grandpa does, uh, with his old man yeah. sweater with and glasses. his little his glasses. with the thick the thick glasses. The thick glasses. Uh you so you you've gone to a couple of games at Penn State. That must have been pretty. Uh, cool. I went to right. right. at Penn State. Oh, did I, it was when great. they were when they, the year they tied um, the for the national championship. It was ninety eight or something like that. Yeah. When Kyle or Brady was on the team, Kyle Katana Brady, Carter, New York Jets. Um, who was the quarterback? Kerry Collins was the quarterback. Yeah. Wow. They were stacked. They tied with Michigan State. That they beat Michigan State. I went to that game. Crazy. I I yeah. So I've been to the games. I used to always go to the first great place. I used yeah, insane. I wish I I was so young. My brother's so like so much older than me. I was like you know. Oh, that's all right. I was like I don't even remember how young I was, but I was like maybe around ten, uh, ten eleven, and uh, uh, I would always go to the first game of the year. So the first game of the year, they would play like a like Some a scrub D, team, like a D three yeah. team. They they would literally score like ten touches. It would be like literally sixty eight <laughs> to zero, like a, like a ridiculous. They would just like crush the team. Yep. Uh, Opening week of football. Oh my! Right. They would literally murder these teams. Like the teams, like you look at them, and it's like such a physical size difference. Like, oh, yeah. like this, like the skill players. Maybe the skill players are the same size. You just look at the linemen, and just and like the just, line. Yeah. Oh my god! It's a nice, it's a different. It's a different. Unit. Yeah, they Penn would State blow. Them. Is huge. It was. It was so. I've gone to. I went to. They went to the Orange Bowl. My brother's sophomore year, and I went. And I, and I went to the Orange Bowl, and that came down to a field goal. And when they kicked the field, that was like one of the craziest moments of my life because it's like my whole family's there and like it's, you know, it's like a big event. He's yeah. on TV. My brother's getting, because like the guy who's starting in front of him got hurt. So my brother was starting to get some stage, uh, stage time, stage time, <laughs> starting to get some, <laughs> so, pl- some playing time. Yeah. And he was a sophomore and like, you know, sophomores really didn't play, you know, unless they were exceptional, like these yeah. exceptional players. So he was getting on the thing and it was crazy. That was like a crazy experience. So some games, especially if they played like it was like a wide out. Like, no place gets wilder than oh, that. Dude. Penn State, I, and I, I told you, I was always a Notre Dame fan. My whole family was Penn State fans. And, you know, we'd have our whatever. But I went to a Penn State game, and it was... It, it was, was unreal. It, 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 the stadium... It just looked tremendous. cool from, you know, TV. They were good that year, too. <clears throat> so it was just packed and nuts. Like, yeah. it, was, it was a great place to watch a game. That's yeah, awesome. when, they're, when they're good, like, the, it's it's crazy. College football is nothing better. It, there's yeah, really, there, there isn't. I went to a game at Notre Dame, and they were, oh, they were a 500 team at the time. Like, yeah. they weren't when they were having one of their great years. And it was a game versus Navy. And the place was nuts. It was just you know nothing what, like it. You know what the cra- crowds make the game. Yeah, yeah. That's what I know. because I I'm I didn't grow up. I, I never grew up a hockey fan. I, like I don't even know the rules of hockey. I don't know the rules of any sport that have a goal. I play yeah. lacrosse. <laughs> I play lacrosse. I literally don't even know the rules. Where are you from? Dick Sells. Why do I think Pequa? I thought you. Do you live in Mass Pequa? No. Nah. It might be someone else. A few. There's like a million comics. There's there. a lot of comics from Massapequa. Yeah, I, don't know who I was just gonna that. say, how do you not know? I just feel, you know, but Dix Hills. I guess you're not as big a sport town as. No, Dix Hills is a big sports town, but oh, like course. they're they're big. But I just I I grew up in a big uh, football and basketball uh, uh, family, so that's all yeah. I do. I like I played lacrosse because my friends played. I hate but, the lacrosse. But I, I don't even know. I, I didn't even know the rules. Like I didn't yeah, even I know, know like what like either. offsides. Like I sucked. <laughs> like I fucking was terrible. <laughs> I didn't even know the rule. I only played JVs. But anyways. I I uh, I went to like a few years ago. I went to like a Rangers game for like the first time, like a packed Rangers game, and it went down to a shootout. And I was like, and that was like the first game I've been to when I was older and like really comprehensive yeah, yeah. of like what is going on. And like it was it was like an insane experience. Hockey games live is fun. there's nothing there's, like being at a uh, you know hockey yes, but a live sporting event. Yeah, where it comes down to the like where it's one of those like high like, high it really is un- game. yeah it's unbelievable. It's, it's un I mean there's a lot of things. That are it just doesn't compare to much. Yeah, I've never seen an entire crowd hate a ref so much like that. They hated this one ref for like whatever call. I don't even know. I've never seen like genuinely like true hate like coming down on. It's them. almost why you the refs run out of the places because it's this very like if they didn't give some of these refs protection, they'd get killed. Somebody They're, would get killed. It's yeah. rowdy. Rowdy, it was a rowdy time, but it was fun. I was like, God damn! Like, I wish I knew hockey. Like, that's right. like fuck. I, I can't, I can't really watch it on TV. Like, it doesn't it's really do anything. Fun. For me. It doesn't do it for me either. I can't watch hockey. I'll yeah. watch. I'm an Islanders fan. I'll watch it on. T- but 
Mostly playoffs. Most, like playoff yeah. is, is good. I'm a but, fair weather hockey fan. I'll man, when, the Rangers or the Islanders. When you go to a hockey game. Right. right. But every other sport I have, yeah. I, you know, put my you know, line in the sand there. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Same here. I, I was a bigger fan when I was a kid. I, my I just remember me. going to like Nick games when I was younger. And when the garden is loud and going, there's nothing like it. Nothing. That's why nothing. I, I'm, you know, the Knicks are so good right now. And this Nobody there nobody to watch there. him. It's like <laughs> it's almost funny. Like nobody yeah. there to witness it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. You it's talk like about sure the Nick, yeah, in your yeah, imagination, yeah. there we go. <laughs> That's so true. No, then I haven't watched a basketball game in a long time. I I used to really keep up with basketball when I was young. I just haven't get I, like I stopped watching basketball once Allen Iverson retired, and I was just like. <laughs> Well, I was know. I was talking to somebody the the other day and like uh it was just like uh and uh he was a black fellow and he was like how can you tell if a white guy's into black girls I'm like if his be- favorite basketball player was Allen Iverson <laughs> he loves black chicks because that's not a white guy like at, that's not a white guy like you do everybody's like Michael Jordan but like if you love Allen Iverson like yo you're with the shits like you're yo, down yeah. with the cause yeah. <laughs> Dude, I- Iverson was a beast. Oh my god! I, Iverson I saw Iverson best. in college at Georgetown. The crossover with Iverson on Jordan is still one of the best moments, yeah. right? Yeah, because he was just so cool. Like it just like he just didn't. He was like he was really like one of the first. I don't know if he was one of the first, but he was like one of the. He was like a good basketball player for that time. It's like Fifty Cent was just like it was like he out. changed he, the culture. He changed. He's the initial. I don't want to say everybody started getting tattoos after him, but right, what you but, see in the NBA now is a direct result of Allen Iverson, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. He 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 was like he had like finger bands. Like yeah, like what is the use of finger bands out, outside of having what is, swagger? What like was what it. For? Like yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. Like he had drip on the and they wore one like one. He was the first he guy to wear one, one sleeve. sleeve. Always yeah. a sweatband. Had the headband, which he, he just looked you know he looked good rocking it with the dude. He, he was all tatted up and he, was he really was the perfect guy for that time. Like, but he, he like, I mean, if you think about it, everybody now looks like Allen Iverson did as far as the tattoos and the, the yeah. and the bands. And yeah, everything. yeah. You had Rod Rodman had tattoos, but you look but back Rodman now. Rodman was a, an oddball. He was an oddball. With the colored well, hair. He wasn't, he wasn't cool. He wasn't a hip hop. Also, like, he no, didn't he was bring not that hip hop. You look back now at Rodman. I remember watching Rodman, and he had all these tattoos, and they were nothing compared to what the guys have now. You know, oh yeah, right, yeah. Like it was nothing. But back then, it was like, oh my god, this guy's got a lot of tattoos. All athletes were like super straight laced. Yeah, like you know, maybe not in their personal life, like they'd be like dirty right, on yeah. the court or whatever. Like, but like you know, but they tried to present themselves a little like, and it right. look like now it's like okay, and they're all tatted up. And yeah, Iverson everything. was definitely a game changer. For he was. He he is like one of the most underrated basketball players because like you know it is. Like, like, like he, like he wasn't like a fancy dunker or anything like that. He just had like sick handles. Like he was just like, he was he was just an icon. Like he was more yeah. than just his basketball performance. And at that size, doing anything, it's just, right. Yeah. It's just six, crazy. six foot for for a pro basketball player is yeah. like not it tall at all. It just looks fun to watch. Like watch a guy like that cross over and just yeah. dribble through everybody. There's something a shorter guy taking over an NBA game is better than a big man doing yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. kind of yeah. how Jordan. It just looks when Jordan better. came into the league, it was filled with seven foot guys, and that's where everything right. was based around. Yeah, and then you had the six six guy come in, and nobody thought you could carry a team at the guard position, and he did it. And then Iverson just kind of was next in that line. Him and yeah. Kobe. I just remember how yep. mad my dad was when, like, Iverson, like, when the press press conference came out, he's like, "We talk about practice." Talk my about dad practice. was like. <laughs> such, a bad, such a bad example. <laughs> such a bad example to kids, but it's it's like the truth. It's like, it but if you true. listen to that whole bit in its entirety, it's a lot different than it is. And it that's is. what again, like your your TikTok videos, they take it and they take out what they want to yeah, make it look. But that, he wasn't even bashing practice. No, no. and also, I th- I don't know if this, there was some kind of interview. A friend of his died like that Exa- week. That's what it was. Yes. You know, so it was, there was a whole lot going on with that. People wanted to hate him because he kind of was uncontrollable. You like, wanted yeah. to find, and and then that was like the perfect quote to throw. See, he's a selfish player. Yeah, and that that players. was right when they like it was a, it was like right when it was like no show gloating. Like remember the NFL? Yeah, like they uh, want you dancing or the, the who's the wide receiver that was playing against the Giants who pulled the cell phone out and like oh, uh, T.O. Uh, T.O. Was no, it wasn't T.O. It was Isaac. Bruce. Isaac Bruce? Uh, it was the Rams. Oh. No. It was the Rams? Tory Holt? No. 
Oh, What's your, Chad Ocho? Chad Ocho? No, Joe Horn. Joe Horn. Joe Horn. Yeah. Joe Horn. Yes. Yeah. But that's fun. I never. I don't. Well, understand. now you're allowed to. But there was a short period. I know. Like it, because, saying, because they were like the kid. Like they don't. They they thought it was a bad example. I know what. Uh, I know. But well, that that made it. That maybe was, like, it is a bad example. Now you have people like Christian going up there with his TikTok videos, <laughs> offending the whole fitness community. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? I doubt. But the show gloating like made it fun. Like I don't. I never understood the people who genuinely got yeah, mad. Like Terrell either. Owens was like hilarious. Like, oh, you remember Barry Sanders would score and give it. I'm like, that's great for yeah, Barry. I love great. Barry for that. But some players like. It's I want to see these guys have fun. Ter- Terrell Owens would literally like his like his celebrations were like three and a half minutes long. Yes. It, like yeah. they were like long. They're like okay, we got to get the game going, and he's like running to the center of the field, on the star. Like yeah, it's like, so funny. It's like how do you not? It's like whatever. It's entertainment. It's yeah. that's I all mean, of this that is. The whole thing is for to entertain people. Right. That's like that's what that's like sports is in a weird area because like it's like entertainment, but it's also not. But it's like yeah. it, it's better when it is entertainment and like yep. fucking people doing well, crazy those shit. Those crazy personalities make the game interesting sometimes. Right. Yeah. Like if it's if you saw a bunch of guys who were all clean cut and you know followed the rules and like there was no like it would be boring. They all can't be Peyton Manning or no. like Tom yeah. Brady. Like no. you know, like Tom Brady's the greatest ever. But it's like you know what I mean. Like he's not going to do no crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. You need a Gronk to go with. By the Peyton, way, the greatest uh, Tom Brady. The greatest clip of of. Uh, well, not I shouldn't say the greatest clip. The Tom made, Brady when what, he threw the fucking thing across the boat. Yeah, when he, him being hammered after his Super Bowl yeah. this summer, <laughs> yeah. the last Super Bowl, and it's like he's a dude. Like I, I get him. I, I like he's like I've done it all, and they have him carrying him out. Like yeah. he's just hammered, throwing the trophy, he threw the Super Bowl trophy of a boat over uh, from one ship of one uh, boat to another. Uh, that's great. That makes me like him more. It does. It, this year, I kind of had a new appreciation. Me too. Well, Brady. especially since he's not a patriot. So oh, I, was, yeah. I automatically liked him more. But oh, one boy. more thing I did want to ask is. I didn't feel like you were getting away from stand up, but are you getting back into it? With like, uh, yeah. So, like, you were heavily in your videos after when quarantine first started. Right, right. So, I was bouncing because it was. So, after I like deleted all my social media and stuff, I did have a moment, like a few weeks, where I was just like, you know what? Maybe that's. Maybe I just quit stand up and maybe that's it. Because I was just like. Oh, after this whole thing went down with the videos? Yeah, I, there was a period where I was like, I'm going to quit stand-up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, quit comedy, period. Period. I was just like, dude, I was legit. I was like, I'm going to get off all social media. I'm going to, like, read. I'm like, fuck this. Like, I'm going to spend all my... <laughs> fuck, th- read? I'm going to read. I'm going to, like, learn shit, whatever. I, I I had a moment. It's But it lasted a while, and I was like, I told my family. I literally told my family, I'm like, I'm quitting comedy. I'm like, that's it. I'm I hope done. your sister's the one who talked you out of it. I uh, No, what, what happened was... Well, I, I just know she's the one that you send a lot of your stuff to. Yes, yeah, my sister's an artsy one, but I don't think I don't even think I told her because I hadn't seen her. Uh, but uh, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna quit, blah blah blah, and I'm just gonna be. I, it was and so like I did it, and it was a relief at first, but then I'm like, oh, I'm just like a regular person now. Yeah. <laughs> so like it lasted a few weeks, and I was like, you know, I'm done. I'm happy because it's like a lot of pressure when you're a comic. It's like I have to write every day. I have to get up on yeah. stage all the time. So uh, I, like I legitimately quit because i was working from home and i was gonna say are you working or yeah i'm working from home like i have like i have a job and i was thinking i'm like let me just put all my effort into my job like right now (laughs) not that i don't work hard but it's but it's like i could put the extra i could put the extra time in and then like i could really kill and uh, you know it's like and i could really make a career for myself and i was like you know i was thinking logic like as logical as possible (laughs) smart but you know as as, like you know if you're a logical human being you're like yeah you're making the right choice But, but you're not, so you're like, I'm back. But uh, so, anyways, I I went and uh, like, and then my parents went down to Florida for a month, so I went down with them because I work from home. So I just went down to Florida for a month, and then uh, you realized how funny you like. I got to make fun of these people, right? Well, you know, <laughs> it, it is kind of like interesting because I think in in the winter I got like really depressed because seasonal I, depression, seasonal depression, and it was worse because I really wasn't getting out of the house that much because. Plus COVID, my dad had a period where he got really freaked out about it because he knew someone that got it that had the same heart condition he got, oh, and they got no. it really bad. Oh, yeah. He did; they didn't die or anything, but he got freaked out for a little bit. Uh, so I was just like inside a lot because I was like, okay, I don't want to leave. I don't want to like freak my yeah. dad out, cause an issue. 
So I started getting like really depressed and weird. I was just in a weird space. I was in a weird space, especially when all the shit happened. A lot of people. Yeah. Everybody was. Yeah, I was always like, in weird spaces. <laughs> yeah, we're in weird spaces. I was in like I was like in a genuine like mental health weird weird space, right? So like uh uh then I ended up going to Florida for a month. I got sunlight. I real honestly, a lot of shit with mental health is literally sunlight. Sun, sunlight is yeah. literally it's sunlight. Get out of the house. Actual the sun. sun. Yeah. And then when I when we were down there, and it was the first time I really traveled out of the state since like the whole thing. And that this is this is uh, March. Uh, I was like, like there was no COVID stress. And pe- you know what it was? Wait, we- March of this year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So last month. Yeah. So. Uh, it, but th- like people were like living their lives now. Like we were going out to eat, and people. I felt like Florida just had that that UFC event, no masks, thirty thousand people right, inside. Yeah. Right, You're, and it was such a great state. It it, <laughs> it is great. Yeah, you know what it was? It was just it was just the when it was different when you went out because it was just like there's people just wanted to have a good time. Yeah, everybody's there from out of state, and they're like, we just want to come down here and have a good time. And then I realized I'm like, shit's not that serious. I'm like, and not to be like, you know, corny, no, but I get it. Yeah. But like, life's not that serious. It's like, yo, you, you like, you just like enjoy the shit. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, let go. And so, it kind of like being around that space. It kind of get my mind. And then, while while, while I was away, uh, stand up comedy started opening back up in the city, yes. really. Yeah. And then I started seeing people. And Talelli sent me one of his sets because he he wanted my opinion if he should post like a clip. And I watched, and I was like, fuck. I'm like I really miss stand up. Like I miss this. Yeah. And I hadn't been get. I haven't been getting. I yeah, wasn't getting I up on stage. You, I haven't seen you in, uh, the, the the last few weeks. You started coming back, right? Right, right. So I wasn't getting up on stage at all. And then as soon as I got back from Florida, but I, I already made my mind up. Yeah. But in Florida, I was like, I got to get back up on it. I need to get my social media back. Blah blah blah. Did you think about going up in Florida anywhere? No, because I was I didn't have a car. I was with my parents, right, so, you man. know. I was just mm-hmm. like whatever. I was like I'll just take the break and I'll just you know come, yeah. when I come back to New York I'll do it you know for real. So I was like okay, and then I was always thinking I actually this is funny speaking about our, our TikTok. I actually uh, paid a hacker <laughs> to try and hack into TikTok to restore my, oh my account. God, really? Because there there are these guys now. There's almost like an <laughs> like an underground economy. They're called uh, uh, account recovery specialists. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. swear to fucking God, there's a ton of the there's clientele a, for those. There's people. a ton of them. There's a ton of them. So people they're trying to get their accounts back. <laughs> so everybody who gets like, if it's Facebook, Instagram, your account gets locked. You just you hire these guys and they they you know they go and they unlock it and you get your account <laughs> back. Nuts. So there's an economy of people doing because right after the Capitol riot where everybody yeah. you know that so many people got taken off that this economy sparked up because so many accounts got taken down. Yeah, it's actually Crazy. a good, like, it's a niche yeah. market right there. So, anyways, I reached out to this guy because I found him, like, they were, like he was getting referenced on, like, it was on a random YouTube clip because I was trying to figure out how to get my account back. If you've back. been canceled. <laughs> if you've been canceled. <laughs> right, canceled right, closer. right. So, I, I, so I message him, and he's and he's like, I can get your account back, whatever. So, I, I see he's like, it's going to be 92 bucks. I'm like, I'm curious. 92 bucks? 92. It's an odd number. It is an odd number, but he says that's how much he has to purchase an algorithm. Like he's like using these big words. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck okay, this guy's yeah. talking just about. Get my account back. Right, right. That's that's basically what I said. I said I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm like, just like I'll give do you the money. Best. Just do it. <laughs> so I throw him ninety two dollars because I was so curious. I'm like, what if he can do this? So I throw him ninety two bucks, and then like you know, a day later, he's like, listen, man. He's like, I don't know what happened. He's like, he's like, this is rough. It's gonna cost you another three hundred. He's like, I'm gonna have to charge you my my workmanship fee. No, we didn't. I knew it was coming. And I was like, "All right." Did you find out what the fee was? It was one hundred thirty-seven bucks. That's it. That's what cheap. are these weird numbers? Ninety-two. It can't, it can't be a normal number, or else you're gonna be like, "Oh, you're suspicious." One hundred forty bucks. Yeah. I'm like, "That's too flat." Yeah, that's, I guess so. That's nothing's that flat. Nothing's that flat. <laughs> that makes sense. Because <laughs> then he goes one hundred thirty-seven. So I respect his weird it's numbers. Just such, a, such a weird ninety-two. Because he, he's right. like, it's my workmanship fee, so I'm like, thinking he's like clocking in the hours, so he's charging. It's gonna be an extra four four point <laughs> three hours, so it's hundred. <laughs> it comes out to one hundred thirty-seven. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like I'm I'm so deathly curious to see if he could do this. And I th- before I send him the money, I'm like I'm like I'm like if I send you this money, will I be able to log on to my TikTok tonight? And he goes yes. So I go whatever. I give him the 137 bucks. <laughs> if I get in a few minutes later, he messes me back. He goes, I don't know what's going on. He's like I've never seen this before. 
He's like, it's just a circle. Keep spinning around. He's like, I can't. He's like, I'm going to have to. He's like, I'm going to have to refer you, refer you to an expert who, who an deals expert. with. And he charges. And I'm like, does he charge? And I'm like, all right, it's done. I'm like, you know, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I just lost. I lost 215 bucks. I'm like, fuck it. I was just, I was so curious. He was, you were going to keep on paying until you stopped. So they would keep on referring you to right, somebody else. Right, right, right. But I thought he back. seemed pretty legit because he had a lot of references. That's what made me like yeah. want to believe. But I don't know. You couldn't have been like, instead of saying, uh, maybe, am I going to be on TikTok tonight? You, you couldn't have said, like, if I'm not on TikTok tonight, am I going to get my 137 I knew he wasn't going to give the money back. Okay, so it was a I know. that, yeah. It, he's at Carl That's Hacks. That's one of those things that Carl you... Hacks. If you send him a mean message... It knowing it's either, I'm either losing this or, I'm, you know, he's going to... Because if I got it to work, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to hire this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now Carl Hacks works for yeah, you. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. You get He's fucking Instagram's gonna fuck with me. I got Carl Hacks. I got hitters. I got hitters I online. Got, fuck you. Fuck you. I you got came out with another video on, bashing the, the gym bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I couldn't get the account back, and then I start uh, and then I started posting back on Instagram, and I was like, you know, this is what I should be doing because also. Like, uh, my brother was down there in Florida and he showed me a clip from like Billy Madison. No, Happy Happy Gilmore. And I was like, damn, it just made me like miss making videos. Yeah, like, I right. liked making the videos. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, so I was, I was like, you know, I'm going to get back into it because I just, I, first of all, as soon as I got back up on stage, I'm like, I have to do this every night. That's when what, was the first, wh where, where'd you get up first? I did one eye jacks on like a random Friday night. Random Friday, and like it wasn't even good. But I was just like, I knew I, I had to get back. You got to break I, that seal, though. I'm right? like, I knew I just had to get. As soon as I was back up on stage, I was just like, the, I like, right I, f I felt right, and like my emotions like started to get like to even out. Like I wasn't like fucked yeah. up or anything. Yep. So I uh, yeah, so I got back, and then I realized like this is what I should do. And then once I reactivated my Instagram account, like the amount of people that were like happy to see me back, and I was like, okay. That's like good. Like that made me feel like okay. Yeah. Like the people like really like when I when I first like took down my Instagram. Like people reached out to me. They're like, could you just text me your videos? Like wow, I really? I want. And so I realized I was like, I didn't realize. Like, well, that's I, the thing, dude. I, I'm like I made something special, and it was like weird. Like I didn't realize how much people I noticed liked it. that you were. I don't even have TikTok, but I see a lot of your stuff through Instagram and shares and stuff like that. But I noticed you stopped. Right. Like once I felt like I, I you know, I was like, fuck, where's Chris? Yeah, been? when Neil said something, but it's been so weird with like comics that you well, that, see, you don't the see thing, these until days. Until Neil said something, and then I was then like, oh, wow, he has been. You, you wouldn't have known. Yeah, you wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. It wasn't that long. Because we only see few weeks. each other, you know, every, you know, a couple times a week. Every, you know, right. Times a week here. But I was gone. I but, wasn't even getting up on stage, so you didn't see my face. And it's, it, but right now, it's so weird. It's like there's comics I know they're just chilling out right now, waiting to get back because of. Whatever issues they're waiting, right? And it's like you don't even realize it, like. But like, I never even, I never, I never just put it together that you weren't around. I just figured we were missing each other at. at yeah, because it was because I, I, yeah, the, I because I deactivated the my account, yeah. so well, I just disappeared. I you were even, also a breath of fresh air, though, because there's not many comic comedy. I'll should say I won't even say comics, just comedy out there that comes from your point of view. And I don't want to assume or guess your political stance, but. You have a much um, less popular, right? Side view, side I, view. I I lean I Point lean of view. right. I lean conservative, like politically personally, but like my sketches, like a conservative person, well would like them. But if you're liberal, you you could like them too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, but the problem I think that's why it's so successful. It kind of plays to both sides. Right, right. But I, it's, it's not the typical Trump bashing, right? right bashing yeah. No, no. It's that you see now. It's, it's just a, it's different. It's yeah. I because I try to stay away from because I could have done that, but that's also not me because my uh, like uh, yeah I'm, most of my politics lean right, but I'm also not complete. I'm also go left on things yeah, like a normal yeah. human being, but I'm also critical. I'm critical because the thing is when you go that route, the issue is it's like all of a sudden you have to have a joke about the border, you know, like yeah. the border crisis, <laughs> yeah. and you got to be on everything that's like no. It's like there's like certain guys. It's like I, I just don't want to be predictable. Like, you know, like I go, like I go on my buddy's conservative podcast, you know, and we talk politics on there, but that's where I kind of keep it, you know, and like, and I try and be funny there, but there's other people, like some comics really, it, there is a market for it and people really lean into the conservative thing, but it's also, but like to me, I'm like, that's not really being funny because I know everything you're going to say, it's, oh, they're always hack 
It's like you got to let go of like, you know, you're going to dress up like a blue haired per- girl and you're going to be like gender pronouns and shit. It's like if you're going to make fun of it, come at it like a different angle. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. they yeah. don't come at it. Like my shit, I guess you could say is conservative, but I always try and come at it from a different angle. Like if I'm going to trash pronoun shit, I'm going to try and come at it from a different angle than nobody's seen it, mm-hmm. you know. But, you know, like, but people appreciate it because especially like when especially when I started leaning a little bit more conservative and doing stuff that's, I guess, like more political, I definitely noticed that it got more appreciation from people like, like almost like thankful, like finally somebody. Because it's not out there. There's nothing on that side. It's there's nothing. And I don't even want to claim it that you're on a side, but right, it's, right. But yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's 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 different than what you're seeing. It's, it's the diff- only thing yeah. I'll say. It's a risk. It's still a risk. Yeah, it is and, because and you're 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 ali- you're almost alienating yourself from half. I have comics who won't like who has friends within the city who like won't associate with me anymore. <laughs> like legit, they're like, what? They're like, what? What happened to you? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you know me. Like, what do you mean? What happened? Like, how could you not? You've had conversations with me, like, you'd add, what do you mean? Who, who, who are, like, this is like, like, been. like, you being in front of me is gonna like prevent you from getting booked on a rooftop show, right. you fucking loser. It's like, you know, yeah. it's like, you know what it like pisses me off about comics, and like, it's like, uh, it pisses me off about people. Like, you can't like someone who's opposed to a different take on something. Or like, people you. won't take a risk because it's like, I won't, maybe I won't get booked, like, you won't get booked on that shitty show that like every comic does. It's. <laughs> It, it, you know what it, it's like it, to me when I look at comedy, especially now. We were talking about this yesterday. To me, the only way to make it as a comic, especially younger, is is your social media. And your social media, you have to build an audience. It's not about playing the club game. No. I know clubs are not going to book me. I accepted it. Yeah. I accepted it, and that's why I started taking chances on my thing because I'm like, the clubs aren't going to book me. You know, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna be booked on the safe, safe, safe space show. When shows. you guys say clubs, you mean like the like a like, like New York City clubs are not gonna book me. The comedy clubs. Like, like I'm only gonna get booked from an independent. And now you were saying that because of your conservative views, you're saying, or just oh. in general because you're. Like I think comics, it's. I think it's a lot of. Getting it's it's definitely gonna be well if it. If they check my social media and they see my conservative views, it's not going to happen. Yeah. I just know because that's just well, how the you city. You are a, you are diamond in the rough in your industry. Yeah, I mean, some <laughs> guys do it. It's like some guys do it, but they don't do it original. There's like, there's like guys. There's like a guy. His name is Bobby Rance, and like he's doing shows out on Long Island, and it's just like. You know, it's the same shit. He's like, I'm you know, fucking Biden. I, you know, can't speak. And like, the, you know, he gets mouth breathing idiots who love his shit. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yep. it's like mine's conservative. But, you know, it's I, I have You're a small about it. I have a weird That's niche. A problem. Yeah. I have a weird niche. I get I get a lot of finance people who like me. So I get cons- I get Wall Street conservatives, if that yeah. makes sense. I, I don't get really get like. I don't I I don't really get a uh, raid raid the capital conservatives. No. Yeah. I don't get QAnon. You're too intelligent for them. I don't get QAnon people. Like I get people who like work in corporate offices. Did you watch offices. that special on QAnon by any chance? No. <laughs> Got to. I, ha- I I I know I to. know the conspiracies like I That's know what they I'm believe saying. in. That's yeah. almost why I feel like it just out of I don't know. I like to watch things that I don't necessarily believe in. Right. Just to see what's like I like watching It's a little them. long. I like but, watching them in and believing it while I'm watching. Like I like, I like yeah. committing to it because I feel like just let go. Of, if you let go of reality, you enjoy it more. It's like, yeah. that's why when I watch Bigfoot shows and shit like that, just anything like Q- fuck. <laughs> the Q and <laughs> a joke. It is. Yeah. It is crazy. It is. I know. I, I actually, got people who believe it like, like, it's just it's scary. I know legit. Fucking... I know legitimate because like I grew up like with church people and stuff. Like I know legitimate like middle aged like they're all middle aged. Yeah, oh about yeah, QAnon, don't you? Uh, yeah. Talk yeah. about. Well, I'm trying to write a bit about yeah. about knowing people who, who are in QAnon, but <laughs> I genuinely know people who like believe in the QAnon conspiracy, like full blown. Like and they're it's all middle aged. They're all middle aged women. It, right. they're all of them, and they they're like they're on Facebook and they're like. They just dates like April 29th. Watch, watch. <laughs> April 29th. Like he's gonna, you know, he's gonna call the army. And like, it, like it's so stupid. Like if he had, and then and then that day happens, and it's like, oh, you know, there's a reason why. It's just uh, I can't. Oh, the, the army's gonna turn on the president. The, oh, they're gonna give up. It's because it's not even like it. It's not even a sense of 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 American pride. No, it's, it's not. What you go? Oh, turn on me. Guess what? No pension. That's it. 
That's it. That's all it takes. As soon as they go no pension, they're going to be like, fuck. And they go, oh, you like your health insurance? Turn on. Yeah, well, yeah, your health insurance gone. It's not, the army's never going to turn on the government. You, you kidding me? That's why it only happens in like dirt poor countries because yeah, the right. army, they're like, the army's just like, they're just it's like, like a mercenary. Yeah. They're like, just sign. You're here. That's it. Like, there's nothing, there's no benefit to it. There's too many benefits. That's why it's like, they're, they're like these people, they're, they're like, no, the cop, you know, like, the cops won't enforce like a, a, a law that's unjust. Like, what do you mean? What do you, like, <laughs> what do you mean? As soon as they're like, hey, you, you fucking, you you won't retire at 45 if you flip. They're like, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> that, it's just, that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. It's so, like the people that believe like that the army is going to like tur- like give up, you know, the, the housing check that comes every month. It's <laughs> not happening. <laughs> The reservist is not going to flip a switch. I'm sorry, the no, guy. You know, it's not. They're they're lost. It was very interesting, I thought, but they're they're, it's, they're it's lost a lot. individuals. It's just it, it's because they're all boomers. Not all, but the, for the most, they're all oh, kind Lord. of they're all kind of boomers. It's just like and they they got thrown into social media. They don't know how to handle they it. Know. They and don't they know how to believe fl- whatever they say. They they literally believe. Don't, yeah. it, they don't understand like fact checking they it's also just, don't understand what's behind like the who's put, like it's like unbearable for them to think that there's someone behind that just kind of like playing right like i don't think people with the QAnon shit are are like they're like there's an evil conspiracy behind it i think like it could like the people that are like propping out these ideas mm-hmm. I don't think there's like in conspiracy like that they're trying to deceive people. I think they're like, I need the hits on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> That's really it. They're like, I need interaction. So like what is it? They're like, okay, let's think. Like, you know, people are gonna be really into like flipping the military, fucking all that shit, like eating kids. <laughs> Pizza gate. Pizza gate. Well, like you know what it is? They do have a good argument with like the with the pedophile shit, like especially because Epstein is like an actual like fact like, check. What I always say is they, there's always something there, and then somebody takes that and just goes completely overboard with it. Right. Yeah. Right. They, they take some part of the truth, something and- that may be true, and then they turn it into something that's just like what? Yeah. <laughs> My mom thinks every Democrat is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> My mom, my mom, her conspiracies, it's just like they only involve Democrats. Like, a, <laughs> like, like, the, like a Republican would never do such a thing. The Bushes would never do such a thing. <laughs> They're all Democrats. Yeah. It's so funny. Like, I try to write a bit because, like, I grew up in a born again Christian household. And, like, I try and write this, I tried this bit where it's like every time there's a Democrat president, like my whole family's like they're the antichrist. <laughs> Every Democrat that has ever been a president, they're like this guy's the antichrist. That's it. Get ready, <laughs> get ready. You're getting raptured soon. Every bill from like Bill Clinton to Obama, yeah. like all these like Biden, like it, they're all they're like it's the antichrist. This is the guy. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. Every every the every Democrat. Every Democrat. It's so funny. It's so funny. But people don't get it. It's like people don't understand church shit. Like it's too specific. Yeah, that's like such. A- no, I I don't think. It's specific. I think it works. I, I what you're doing with it. It's I, it's it's it, interesting. I like I like to hear it. It's funny. I, I yeah, think. it's hard to figure out with church stuff because it's like it's so extreme with like it's because like no one grows up just kind of religious anymore. Like back in the day, I feel right. like well, yeah, people used to that. grow up like kind of religious so they would know like 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 Bible stories. Mm. You yeah, know what I mean? Parents would put you into it even though right. they weren't really practicing, so it was half assed. You yep. went to it. You didn't. You kind of knew what was going on, but you never went home and practiced it. Yeah. Where are you with church stuff now? I, you grew up with it, but like, where are you now? I still go to church every Sunday. Yeah, that's right. You go to church. Every While Sunday. I'm living at home, I have to go to church every yeah. Sunday unless I ha- want to pay rent. So is that's, that part of the rules? It's legitimately part of the rules. If I like stopped going to church every Sunday, my parents would be like, "Listen, either get out or are you gonna have would to toss cash?" Would you go to church if you didn't have to? This is a tough. You can answer any way you want. It, it is a hard question because my religious beliefs are so weird. Like because I definitely believe in God for sure, and I believe I'm very um my personally ta- not my personality type. I'm very susceptible to believe in spiritual things. Like I always like believe in like spirit like things. Like I agree. I I, I so it uh I I put it to you like this. Um, 
maybe I, I would, wouldn't go to church every Sunday, but I would definitely go to church. It would be a part of your life. It would be a part of my life because yeah. it's still weird if like on an off like Sunday where I wake up and I don't go to church. I'm like, it feels weird because I've been doing it like my whole life. But do you think that's more of the doing it your whole life? Than it Probably. Is the actual. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like it, there's like a utility to church. I think it's really good for people. Like, I think the most important part of church to me is the community aspect. Because uh, um, I think people need a lot of people need that a lot of people need that connection because yeah. because uh, there's no sense of community anywhere anymore and that's like one of the oh, things. God, it's gone. Yeah. But I think uh, as far as my religious beliefs, when I when I pray, I still uh, I still say Jesus name, Amen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I might tell people I'm I'm spiritual, it's uh, when I pray, I always think of white Jesus. <laughs> 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 no, no, I think of Je- I always say Jesus. <laughs> I will always think of God in like in Christian terms, like in like in like a, in like you know. I get it. I, it's so so. I would never be like you know you know. I don't know who goes to hell. I'm not certain. I just know. To me, I think faith is um, like is your gut feeling. I feel like that's most of it. It's like trusting your gut feeling sense, yeah. and being like that's the thing and like cultivating that. And that's what's good about like religion and church. They they actually, if you really pay attention. A lot of it is like trying to cultivate that gut feeling for, for the most part. And then there's certain, there's, I mean, there's certain things. And then there's also discipline and religion that I think is great for people. Like, you know, certain like traditions and stuff like the stuff makes sense. The problem is when people, this is my gripe because like I question church, but I don't have like animosity towards it. A lot of people, when they leave church, they, they leave it like a 17-year-old. They're like, you know, like, I'm done going to church. God isn't real. The freaking yeah. sky ghost. That's probably yeah. me more than... <laughs> sky sky ghost? Like, yeah. no one leaves it like... it Like, no one leaves it on a mature basis. They're always like, sky ghost fucking dummies. <laughs> dummies. So stupid. But it's like... <laughs> So the thing is, like, people leave it and then they don't look back on it and see, like, the utility of it. Like, they just, like, fucking bunch of rules. So dumb. Yeah. But it's, like, no one... That's a- like me. <laughs> yeah. Right. But it's, like, there's there's a utility to the rules. Like, the, like, when certain things are sins, like, it makes sense. Like, when you think of, like, like not having, like, premarital sex, like, even though it's, like, not cool, like, it like it makes sense. Yeah. Like, I mean, the, the rules there, the, you could follow why... It, like the stuff, like the stuff makes sense and it's good. And I think some people like, cause I could really look at it. Like, I think some people really need it. Like so, there's definitely pe- like a certain group of people who need church. Yeah, I feel like you're they looking need- at two guys in this room that need it. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they need the community and they need, and it's beneficial too. Yeah. It's beneficial too, to be a part of a community like that, because it's like everybody, they're more likely to help each other out. It's like, Oh, you're a Christian. I don't even have to know you. I'm going to help you out because that's I, just I'm- like, there's I always certain... think there are pluses to it. It's just some of the stuff loses me. But... Yeah, it's it's hard. It's you know, it's it's hard because some like churches are really good. Some it's especially because like with certain pastors, some pastors are like great, and then some pastors like suck. It's like comics. Like yeah. there's so much. True though. There's so few that are like genuine and like good and like really like you go and you're like oh and who can present it in a way that's like that's pa- what it is. That's like palatable. Some guys like they just get too into like the things and then you like you lose them. You're like I don't even know what they're doing. Right. Like, what are you talking about? But some guys can really break it down and like and like why this is good and like what this passage means in the Bible and like I agree with that. Some a lot of it is on the uh, the deliverance of the message. Yeah. And if it works for you, if you leave church feeling better and if it works for you, then you know. Well, that's always the other thing I say too. It's like I'll never knock somebody for being religious just because I am not. Like, right. Do you? If it makes you feel better. Go for it. Yeah. You know, that that's really what you're, you're supposed to live your life to, to be happy. So if that's what makes you happy, so be it. Not everybody has to. Um... Hating makes you happy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. That's that's. But uh, before we do wrap it up, because we are getting a little uh, late here, um, right. do you have any shows or anything coming up that you want to? Yeah, so I think May 27th I'm performing at Fire Island Vines. Hey, me too, baby. Are you on that Fire show? Fire Island? No, it's in Bayshore. Bay right? Really nice place. Yeah. I'm I think he's going to sell it out. I think he's going to sell it. Well, I'm he's going to sell gonna, it out I'm now. I'm going to go to this one. Oh, are you? I'll drive you. It's All a right, nice place. Fair All right. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to that. The, the, the couple? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. May 27th, Fire Island. Is Vines. It Vines? Fire Island Vines. In, right. And I believe that's in Bejro, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Good. I'm glad. I was. I didn't know who else was on that show. TikTok or... Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, also, June 13th, I'm doing Govs. Govs Levittown. Nice. Governor Love Levittown. Nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, my new TikTok is Chris Han Comedy. And my Instagram, I because I, I can't be fit. Chris now? The, is that what you're going? No, by? no, it's still Christian, but I can't uh, because what am I gonna do? Christian comedy as my as my name because he can't do it yeah. long enough. Oh, okay. They limit the thing, so it's Chris Han comedy on TikTok, and then uh, mingle with Christian on Instagram. I don't even promote my Twitter. I I I can't, I'm I can't do Twitter. What's yeah. the point of promoting a Twitter? Watch what I have to think. About. Yeah, well, some, some guys people crush are great it. At it. Some people are really good are at Twitter. They? Tim Dillon's Twitter is amazing. Yeah, you I, like you watch you go on his Twitter. You're like, I can't wait for this guy to tweet because it's always it's like good. It's like great. Some guys yeah. are really and he's good saying at it. up to the minute like whatever's really happening. I've never been a huge like I used to be on the Twitter. I showed yeah, you like we've years ago. That. I was heavy when Twitter was like first big. That's when I was you know in it, and then um, I just stopped. And now I like. Sometimes I, I I'm like ah, I should go back to it, but I'm like ah, I just I, I don't like the feet. I don't like. The I'm setup. on there every day. I just like the trending. It's confusing, right? It is confusing. I like the trending stuff because it's sort of like all right, this is kind of. I like, I find I like a lot of news you could on there. Get somebody or, shares a whole feed and then you see what you want to see. And if I really yeah. want to delve into it, I can go to my Twitter and look at it. I don't know if I like I follow people, but my extent on Twitter now is I just look at like the trending topics. That's for me, yeah. uh, you know, sports stuff that I like, whatever it is, entertainment stuff. And uh, I kind of like it just for that. Like, it's I it's interesting. Out. Like certain people are a good follow. Like, like I like following like Candace Owens because you'll see like her beef with Cardi B like in live, like yeah. live. <laughs> That's the only thing <laughs> that is great is you it's, see the things live. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy because you go and you're like watching the refresh and they reply. And it's like, you're, they're, I'm like, they're on their phone, like tweeting at each other and I'm watching. It's yeah, like, yeah. it's and like, you're, it's you're happening, right? involved in what's there's, in their heads the right now. I love. There's I used to beefs. Get, like, sports information from there. Right. I get, I get news. So I get yeah. news on Twitter too. Yeah. I, I like, it's probably I like that the best news feed around right now. I like that ad. because I just like the whole trending stuff because it's always trending, whatever. Yeah, and it's like kind of designed to you, which is like you know why people are all angry all the time. But like it's whatever yeah. I, I you know I I'm interested in. Yeah, it's telling me what what's going on. Yeah, I do have two picks before we only wrap this two, up. Huh? Well, yeah, I only have two right all now. All right, good. Uh, they're both new things. Uh, one of them is Stowaway. Okay, what is you that? See that? It's on Netflix. It's a, they're on a voyage to Mars, and there's a stowaway on board, and it changes the whole mission. Mm. Okay, interesting. It, it's a, it was actually a very good, I, I watched it out of, like, there's movie? nothing to watch. It's on it's, it's on Netflix, it's a movie. Anybody that we would know that's in it? Oh, what's that chick's name? It's going to bother me now, I forget. There's, yeah, there's a couple big names okay. in it, but okay. it, it was good. It was actually surprisingly very good. I, I, I was thoroughly entertained right. with cool. it. The other thing is the new show on HBO Max, Mayor of East Town. I don't know this. Oh, it's I'm 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 almost about to finish Game of Thrones, so I need something. What Jeez. do you think about Game of Thrones? I think it's good. I think people hype it up too much. I mean, it, I think it's tough to watch something after it's been hyped up like it has. Right. You know what, what it is? Do you want to, though? I'm I'm like halfway through season eight. I'm almost done. You just, you just hit a button with him. It's it's like the it's okay. I, you know what? It's you could tell it's the it's done with the book because okay. the, the storyline is not as complex. It's like every you know everybody's people's thumb down. Yeah, yeah. It's it's starting to become too like almost like a Marvel movie. You know what I mean? Okay. It, where it's like the where the story storyline is dumbed down. It's not complex. It's like of course it's it, like everything becomes predictable. Okay, I got it. At you. least I I got it. But I think people overhype because people get so fucking like weird with like uh like medievalism. People get so like yeah. they get like a hard on when it's like dragons and shit. I loved it. I my whole thing was I didn't think the last season was no, nowhere near as bad as everybody made it out to be. I don't That's think it's I'm terrible. Curious. I don't think it's terrible. You're going into it in a much better like it's not in right. news anymore. Right. So like you're not having to read all the hype. I feel like as you right you, you heard it right, but it, you're not like yeah. heavily in it. So it's just like you can watch it and kind of have your own opinion. Yeah, I think like things are moving like storylines moving like faster than usual. They but, wrapped it up. Yeah, they, yeah, they wrapped it up. But it, I, you know, it's not it's not bad. But like people over like people like 
fan out of it. It's like same with like Lord of the Rings. It's like yo, like like calm the fuck down. Like it's yeah. okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's right. all right. It's like it's like it, like a like a Scorsese movie is like a million times better than what this is. And you guys are like f- like base half your life around this movie like that like <laughs> that like Harry Potter like don't dress like the characters it's like what oh, it, yeah. but it's but that's like that's vibe stuff, people need to realize it has to end like like they want this perfect yeah. end it, like nothing uh, ever ends per- yeah I'm you sorry it's not gonna be good people for hated the Seinfeld ending I thought that was one of the best endings to a show ever yeah it's fine who can- it, it, it was over it's you know it's impossible to end a show perfectly yeah they they they're remaking the, well they're doing the spin off with like three dragons or whatever it's called with uh well they're doing the, the the story of Daenerys and the Targaryens apparently like thousands of years prior or some shit oh, okay. yeah they're gonna do like a Star Wars type shit I think she's I, I don't like her character really I don't like her I think she's corny I think her storyline's corny I like I like the King's Land um the, yeah the King's Landing story and like uh, and like. Uh, like Tyrion and okay. the Lannisters, like the earlier seasons, because I thought it was really complex and good, and I and I like that, and it's a lot of power plays. But then, like her, she's like, "I'm the breaker of chains." It's like, it's like, could you? <laughs> yeah. It's like, could you put? Could you bring some complexity to the character, like a little bit? It's like, oh yeah, she's the savior complex. It's like, of course, like fucking. I think she's all right. Not yeah, well, that's my. Yeah, I. I that show just confused me a lot. <laughs> it did. <laughs> but so, the, yeah, the last pick was Mayor of East... Uh, of, of, of Now I'm drawing a blank. Mayor of Easttown. <laughs> yeah, Mayor of Easttown. And, and what's it's this about? With Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet? And it is... I don't know if I like her. You know what? I'm on the fence with her, too, but I like more stuff that she does than I don't. So okay. I'm, I'm more towards I'm a fan. All right. Uh, it's She's a, a cop. And it's an, it's another one of those like murder or missing girl mystery. Oh, okay, type of, uh, pretty pretty um, simple plot as far as that. But the first two episodes I thought were really really well. good. Yeah. Okay. So those are my that's what I got this way. Stowaway right, and two. Mayor of Easttown. Interesting. All right. I kind of like that you have two. It's like you believe in two of them. Yes, I I really like these, and I I could have thrown on a couple others. And you don't need to. You don't need and to I throw on and stuff that you don't yeah, really I'm, believe. I'm in. done with that. Just that's good. Putting it on to put it on. Yeah, all right. All right. And also, I don't, did I mention uh, our friends, uh, Neil and Andrew's new podcast last week? No. Want Beef? I want to yeah. do it. Yeah, I want I, I want to do Wait, it. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah. Want Beef, so, yeah. So, uh, you know, Neil Rubenstein and Andrew Berg. I know they were recording episodes, but I knew Berg. They recorded like 20 them. of them. So <laughs> they, they're finally, they have like 50 episodes they yet. Do, they didn't even start yet. <laughs> they're finally releasing episodes. They're friends of the podcast, so I, I, I'd like to just uh, promote them because they're good guys i you know i i like those those two and uh and it's an interesting podcast so what's it about do you know so they pretty much talk about food but they'll find a subject on food that they'll just spend the whole okay. podcast talking about that could be good yeah it's good it's I, I like it i i i can listen to those two talk about food their passion for food is is pretty uh the deep. one interaction i've ever seen with the two of them was like a a, a minute long interaction and I got a kick out of it. Yeah. And it makes me think the show is going to be good. It's good. It's very good. The first one was with, I, I, I believe they opened up with an, their first episode was probably, they've recorded probably 15 at well, this that's point. Well, that's the whole thing, too. Is Neil was like, yeah, I already recorded 20 episodes with yeah. him. He just hasn't released them. And then he said, uh, Bergen just goes, well, I just wanted to hang out with you. It was like an excuse <laughs> yeah. to hang yeah. out with you. <laughs> And their first episode, I, I enjoyed it. It was about, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, food trucks and they both didn't have a strong opinion on food trucks it was a weird episode to start but I enjoyed the podcast and I think it's going to be really good going food forward food trucks I'm hit or miss yeah sometimes I'm like ah oh, this one looks good and then I'm thinking to myself but it's a food truck Long Island's tough there's no, zero trucks. health no you got you got to I mean in the health city in the city well, I just don't trust. Like, do you ever see the people who run a food truck? Yeah. Usually, they it, don't look it, like it the, depends. Uh, it depends. It depends on where you are. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you if you go to a good that's like a known lot that like has like food trucks, you gotta there, find a lot that has. But it's, you, you'll it's, get legit chefs that are actually like if some chefs that because it's it's like cost effective because it's like I don't have to pay rent on a building. I yeah, don't have to I'm do this, and yeah. I got everything in the, in the thing. You know, cash, all cash. Like, there's a cheesesteak place. But you guys down know the block. what I'm talking about. Sometimes you see the guy and it's. 
like, I don't want this guy yeah, doing you every see guy aspect the... of my food. I right. Uh, uh, yeah, like the halal cart. That's like, it's like, you can't be a cart that's open 24 7. It's like, where are you getting ice and refrigeration? It's like, yeah, where, where, you get, where are you getting your electricity? Where, where, oh, I the... never even thought about that. You're right. Yeah, it's like you got to pick. It, it depends. You got to pick and choose your halal carts. Like, but when I was going into the city for my job, I had a solid halal cart because he wasn't like a chain. Like, it was just his cart. Yeah. And he was, he was, he oh my God. Was, well, there's like it a taco so truck good. in it Astoria that I loved, but I'm also weary of certain taco trucks. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just uh, like weird with yeah. food trucks. I was I, it's, they're hard at first, but when you're around, like, because I, I used to work around a bunch, you get used to it and you start, then you're like, okay, it's like, you just start trying. Honestly, if you look behind the kitchens at some places. Well, I, yeah, and I know. I agree thing, with you. Yeah. I agree with you. If you want to know how what the kitchen looks like in the restaurant, go, to the bathroom, the you go right into the bathroom, and then you'll know. Like you know, you can tell his kitchen in that bathroom in there. He's <laughs> like his toilet. Yeah, like he a, has a pen in his sink. He has just yeah, a pen. I never know what. I, honestly, I. He did, well, you don't know when an idea is gonna come. So you yeah. pen in the sink. <laughs> I get my best ideas when I'm in the shower. Isn't that weird? I do. There's I'm def- same. There's always a pen in in my bathroom. Because, really? You know. Do you need the fucking uh, the. the the space pen from yeah. Seinfeld. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that. Take uh, the pen. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys made it this far, yeah, thank you, Christian. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. You are a, you are a treat on. to have on. You this are podcast. a delight thank to have you so on much. the show. Um, we enjoy talking with you. We enjoy having you on. And um, and are you doing a podcast anymore? What's um, going on? I, I I'm gonna start doing it. I just have to get it. You got to get back. Uh, get get going. The but I, pro- the I might internet. have you guys on as the first guest. Cause uh, we'd love it. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna have guests. I was initially doing it by myself, but it's just like too much to do by myself. Yeah. So I'm going to have guests. You guys might be the first. We, first we, we guest would be honored. Totally and, and I mean, because no. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get people out from the city and stuff. So, yeah. like, you know, you guys are right here. Yeah, we'll take the uh, just because we're close. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to have you guys. I want to go out. I know. I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys the studio and stuff like like my buddy. I'm totally down. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that but uh all right well yeah follow christian and uh we'll see you next and week. see him at his, his upcoming shows yeah and we are out <laughs>